Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. So, got a Minotaur going here. And I was thinking of maybe grabbing a Leveland. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, why did the head butter that guy to death? Sure. Right. Minotaurs, of course. What do I start with? A decent amount of strength. I think those are fine starting attributes. Alright, level two. Oh, that was easy. They had to kill a bunch of jackals, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure this character will be getting mini spells, because I don't think Minotaurs are good at spells. Let's take a look. Stone Arrow, Passable, Sandblast. No, those aren't the sort of spells I get anyway. I don't know what sort of spells I would get if I got spells. Probably just like... Oh, Manifold Salt would probably be impossible, right? I don't know. What is my aptitude translocations? Is it minus three or something? It probably is. Yeah, it's minus three. <laughs> I have got to go before it was like fourth level, but even then, it's not really the most wanted as a Minotaur. Oh, it's so weird, just absolutely headbutting everything to death. Doesn't uh, feel normal. I'll check the Faded Altar, see if it's something I want. Shay, Yurdalmno, Okawaru. I mean, Shay Brownless is fine. Okawaru is, of course, a decent god, but they're not the ones I'm planning on today. Um, I think I'll just find a normal altar. I've taken a, a faded altar in a little while, I don't think, because I've been kind of doing streaks. All right, let's get a let's get a let's get a bit of strength here. Oh, <laughs> I thought that the spell the trap might get me, but I. Uh, that was a little decent chance to be able to get out of the area. No stacks of potions or anything yet, so... Uh, no more scrolls, actually, is what I'm looking for for identify. Oh, I'm in a net, I'm in a net again. What do Minotaur start with? I know they can headbutt people reflexively. Right, and they have visit horns too? Which is a nice level because that's where you can wear, still wear a hat, but uh, does a decent amount of damage to level 3. I think stops you wearing a hat. Although with the reflexive headbutt, they might still be better off at level 3. Oh, there's a longsword? I can't use a longsword with 8 decks. Well, I could, but it wouldn't be very effective. What are that little dagger is? Go check it out. It's probably not worth using, but nah, just protection. I mean, protection's decent early on, but it's not like Venom or something. Ooh, also an amulet. Oh, reflection? Okay. I mean, that's shield value. I don't have a good shield to go with it, but I'll take it. Yeah, because five shields decent at this point. Probably a regen would still be better, but that's fine. Ooh, javelins are good. Six of them, even. How do I get those ones going? It's the real question. Alright, agility's not bad, I do need a little bit more of that, it helps with the whole, well, when I get a shield, it'll help with that. Oh, will see invisible, sure, why not? Uh... Red potion, totally should be a healing potion, right? Not that the colors mean anything, it's just a random assignment of potion colors. I wonder how many different colors the game actually has to assign from, like, with the... Uh... There's the same number of colors as potions, or it's like a larger list of colors or something. Ooh, heavier armor. I might take that one. Let's go check it out, see how it compares. So, I gain 5 AC and I lose 3.9 evasion. That, or 3.8. That sounds pretty worth it. Hey, I reflect the dude dance back. That's funny. <laughs> then I'm waving itself up. Ooh, cloak. Yes, please. Uh, and I'm done with level 3. Well, that was fairly quick, but there weren't many uniques or anything. There was just, uh, what's her name? That easy one, Jessica, the apprentice mage or whatever she is. Just let this guy get up to me and look go upstairs. She probably should have been resting upstairs, but it doesn't matter. Oh, evocations and invocations. I want an invocations value. Actually, I kind of want both of those. How's my invocations? Uh, zero. That's not terrible. So the manual on it should go up pretty fast. 
Uh, maybe not that staircase again. I kind of just want to fight the dolls one at a time. I mean, it worked out, but I don't want to get myself surrounded. Ooh, what was that? Want to fly? That's fine. That was scary of a jeep right next to me with a wand. Was that dude's staff? Yeah, that's probably fine. It will hit me with a bit of electricity, which could hurt. Uh, hey, that's a better axe. There we go, war axe. Let's put it on. I mean, yeah, I've got enough skill. It's just going to be better. In fact, even without skill, I think the war axe is kind of just better than the hand axe. The hand axe is kind of just the starter ones for backgrounds that don't start with a good weapon. Oh, down to Juvesa right next to me. Um, oh, that's not right. Down in front, that's not right. Uh... Hmm, they are back a little bit. Could run. I think I might. And I'm a pig, okay. Sure, I put that makes running a little bit easier, I guess. I don't know quite what I do against Dal and Juvessa. Maybe just leave them be. We'll see. That was a little Ufetibus little guy, whatever they do. I don't think they they actually got buffed a little bit, but they're still not that bad. They do like flag you with the what I can't don't know what it's called, their little flagging move. Oh hey, temple, that's what we want. An early temple too. Does it have a who does it have? Wait, is it not an Elevalin in here? Oh. Oh wait, there is an Elevalin. Where? In the temple. Oh, there is an Elevalin here. Okay. That's not too bad. I'm gonna go grab myself an Elevalin. So they're all about healing, pacifying monsters. They'll, they'll keep you alive. They've also got the thing that, like, gets rid of, um, cure, uh, confusion, I mean. It's a bit like a curing potion, except... I think its effects are exactly the same. Uh-oh. I dropped down the floor. That's actually perfectly fine. I shouldn't have because of Death uh, Quivered. That would annoy uh, Leveland. Uh oh. Actually, I'm going back down. <laughs> right, so the staircase is not good. I kind of want to find another one because that was gone down and do Vessel on it. Oh, uh, there's another one. And is it? Yeah, it's Du Vessel, I think, has the Wand of Polymorph, too. Uh, okay. Wait, why am I going to that staircase? That's completely the wrong one. Okay, an ogre. Um, oh, my skill's going pretty well, but I uh, don't really want to melee it. What have I got? I've got a wand of acid to help take me uh, down. Boomerang a little bit. Now zap it once for the acid. There we go. That's wounded enough. It should be easy. But something that can to hit me is definitely something I've got to take seriously, right? I know they're slow at attacking, but still, it's very sketchy. Ooh, I can see a nice cloak. Um, I want to bring this guy around the corner so it doesn't burn me up too much. Well, I don't know that the cloak's nice just yet. Oh, water marks and um, I don't have my god ability to heal uh, poison yet. I'm trying to ask this guy. It's only 30% the hit, though. Oh, thank goodness I died. I didn't have to drink random potions looking for the curing. Oh, I've got five or something. I should just read one of those, see what I've got, identify. Maybe I can get a curing this way. Ah, uh, heal wounds. I mean, that's not bad. Why don't I want to do a scroll? Fear's not bad. Ah, oh, vulnerability. I don't think I've got anything to go with that. Observe rage? Could work early on. Add a bit of resistance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Plus one cloak. Definitely a bit of a plus zero cloak. I might as well drop some of this old stuff as well. Uh, hand axe as well. Just cloud my inventory. Not that I'm yet at the point of the game where my inventory becomes a mess or anything. Ooh. Oh, magic points intelligence. <laughs> um... I think my god abilities use magic points when I get them, but 
That would be perfect for a mage character. Yeah, I think my last character was a mage character, but not this one. This is a minotaur. That's about as, uh, oh, well, now I can purify myself. I should check what it actually purifies. So, poison, confusion, slowness, petrification, weakness, and sickness. It also restores my strength, dex, and intelligence. Oh, my max health as well. Yeah, so it's kind of like a curing potion except better, right? I guess it doesn't heal any health, but still. Curing never healed a lot anyway. This character has a surprising amount of intelligence. I guess I started them as a reaver. Oh, so I guess that kind of makes sense. What spells do the reavers have? Kiss of Death. Oh, I don't know which one of these um, was actually any more because they got more spells. I think Momentum Strike was in there. I'm sure they have a third one. It used to be Hailstorm. Not sure what it is anymore. Oh, hey, Ruka. How's it going? How's your day been? Oh, whoops. I accidentally threw a boomerang at this guy, although that wasn't too bad. Are you ready for the tournament in like, what is that, 30 days, 25 days, whatever it is? Uh, what? Ooh, I can do something else. I can pacify others, but... I might just get some invocations, like, five? See if I can get that more reliable? I know you're gonna have a decent amount of invocations to pacify things, but it works best on beasts. Oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> okay, let's try a proper staircase down here. What's this guy got? Roots. Roots is a pretty good wand. And so it's a little basic orc as well. So it's basically free roots. I'm happy with that. Uh, no, I don't need a scarf of visibility, actually. I've got the plus one cloak, so I'm doing pretty well there. Uh, it's leather armor. More leather armor. Oh, he lost the Tandu in Abyss? No! I guess, uh, was it an early banishment, or...? Did you purposely go there? I'm guessing an early banishment, right? Man. And Ted, you thought exactly have anything that helps smell the abyss, because they used to have like a little bit of extra speed, which helped a little bit, but they got replaced with, um, what did they actually get replaced with? Oh, Charm Weapon. I don't have a good weapon to enchant yet. Uh. Oh, that's not gonna work. I'm trying to find, like, a little corner to bring this guy around. Um, that's just too... Yeah, there's a place that doesn't have corners. There we go. Uh, gonna try roots him, but he might blink away. Hey, there we go. Got rid of him. Excellent. Um, I'm gonna run back to the staircase. Oh, it's fairly early. Didn't survive with using six scrolls of teleportation. Man, you must be stuck in there for ages, because I know the scrolls of teleport are quite slow to go off. Man, it must be a bit of bad luck though with the uh, staircases if it took six scrolls and didn't get you out. Does this dude have a shield? I don't think so. I don't know what these guys sometimes do. Just got more scale mail, which I think is... wait. Am I wearing something heavier than scale mail? What am I wearing? Ah, chain mail. Right, okay. I think Axe has reached whatever target I had set for it. Um, Not sure what the ventilator on this thing is. It might be 14. I think it Because I know the broad axes are 18, right? Oh, 16. Right, the axes seem to have reasonably high skill requirements, which is good because I'm a minotaur, so I don't really care. Um, I'll try my buster, but I hope I don't have to pacify it or something. But worried about the dude behind. Oh. Resisting very well. Um, I think I probably should pacify this guy. Let's see. 60%? Come on. Oh, thank goodness. I'm not gonna get- I'm not gonna be a steamed minotaur? Wait, there's another one? Oh, I can't pacify this one. Um... Is that mind burst? 60%. I guess that's alright. I'm getting rid of it.
It's been ages since I played a Tenju. I know they're like good at air elementals and good at conjuration, right? But they also are really fragile, so I find they can sometimes be pretty unreliable early game. Um, I don't know. I think a lot of their aptitudes are also bad. Like they're one of the few earth elementals I haven't won yet. But then their like air and stuff is ridiculous. I remember it's like three air and three conjuration or something. So, there's certain combos that they're very good at, and then the other ones, they're not so good at. When you're trying to win, like, all the combos like me, that doesn't leave you a lot of tend use to play. Hey, I can finally heal others again. I think I'm on exploration healing, right? Uh, I'm like, bring this guy back to the staircase. Because, I mean, it would make sense that I leave a little proofs of killing things. That would be... That would be very strange, given they're, like, the god of peace and healing and stuff. Wait, unexplored? I'll check it out. Just a little tiny little separate piece of the level? Alright, then what have we got? I mean, I should have known that this existed if I was counting my staircases, but I often don't count my staircases until I actually end up needing it. Oh, it's a throwing net. Um, definitely get back to the staircase. Should be fine because it's hard for the throwing net guy to get to me. But I shouldn't go back down that one. I should definitely take a different one. In fact, I think I only had, like, one down staircase before, because two of them are in the separate area. Huh. Oh, I should check what that is. Plus three flail, that should be fine. Um, do I get axes up a little bit? I feel like I might just get, like, a axes up to... I'll do 14, but maybe I should get it all the way up to 16. It's kind of mid to latest thing. Oh, and I should also get the evocation, shouldn't I? Let's get that up to the five as well, because I do have one of roots, which is a pretty good wand. What else have I got? One of acid. I've only two of those left. My burst. Yeah, I've got some decent ones, so definitely. All right, let's pull this guy back. I kind of wanted. There we go. I wanted to throw it net while it's distant, so whether it hit or missed, I could just get out of the net before it got up to me. Uh, no shield. I always associate with those gnolls with shields, but I don't know. I think it's actually just a reasonably small chance of having a shield. I might just pull this guy around the corner because it's throwing boomerangs at me. Is there something wrong with the staircase? No, there wasn't. I'm just checking. Although it does, um, if I get creatures around that one, it is like the only one to go up. Also, this place is real fire resist. It's kind of nice. Because I was lacking the fire resist and it was a bit bad with the steam drakes before. It's great to have that one again. Oh, stop of Earth again. Uh, pull this guy closed. Hopefully it heals the door closing. It creaks loudly. Good. I mean, I already pulled it in like one space, but it's still one less chance for it to hit me. Is that a... No, it's just a War Axe again. I'll check for Axes, but I think War Axes are the best I've seen. Yeah. I mean, it's still, War Axes are not bad. It's just I got some enchant weapon lying around. So if I can get a Broad Axe, I can enchant it. Uh, this is okay, but I might just cure myself up a little bit. I don't know how much that did, but it did something at least. Oh, another P, of course. But at this point, it's not too bad because I've killed lots of them. Hey, good old Hempley Aquad. They're one of my favorite gods. They're not so good for extended, but they're, they're really good. Like, they work for mages, they work for... Oh, I should cure that up. Work for melee characters, they work excellently for archers. Yeah, I don't know. They just, um... They just kind of work. Oh, nice, not the heal wounds, that's good. There's a troll this level somewhere, I'm trying to avoid it because it looks kind of tough. I'll probably have to fight it at some stage. Hey, Sally, how's it going? Oh, whoa. This is bigger than my temple, isn't it? 
how have you been? What sort of games have you got going at the moment? Actually, it's not quite as big as I thought, because these are just statues, but it's still nine altars. Which one? Is there 27 gods or something? It's quite a lot of them. Oh, there's a little banishment mode. Let's not, uh, let's not banish today. At least I hope not. Otherwise, I might have to be a Legado Wush. But no, if I switch to Legado, though, that would make a Leveland mad at me, right? Huh. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's kind of what happened to Rogue, right? Go banish to the Abyss. That's how I hopefully not repeat Rogue's deaths here. Got a Morningstar protection. I mean, that's alright. Oh, is this a trove? If it was the evening star, it might be like enough to convince me to go to Mason Flails, cause this is a trove. Pawn of Gurion. I mean I'll get one of those. I can flick one of those across eventually. I'll probably forget, but on well, the off chance I remember, that's kinda nice. That's always the problem with troves though, like forgetting about them because the Oh okay. I gotta just fight this guy. The time between, like, seeing them and when you can actually get in tends to be quite large. Um, get it with the roots, because that should kill it pretty quick. Because that uh, doesn't have to hurt. Oh. Man, suddenly there's all the stuff. I might just pass by the bee. And then fight the other dude. I think that's the way to go. <laughs> Let me just get back to that staircase. It's one of these really open levels. These ones can be kind of scary. Um, the creatures so far aren't too bad, though. Oh, you also had a troll of Rue who got a trove for full piety. Man, that must be disappointing. That's like... I mean, the, the piety ones are usually, like, really good. Except when, when you're with Rue and the loss of piety is basically permanent. <laughs> Um, because Rue gets their party back from sacrifices. <laughs> Did you take it, though? Or take it an abandoned Rue? It's basically free. <laughs> I mean, you totally could. In fact, that might be a good one to find on the tournament when you're doing the champion Rue and then abandoned Rue thing. <laughs> oh, it's an ever-burning encyclopedia. Sure. Actually, do I care about these books? I don't think so. But maybe a book of movement. Let me look at that one. It's got Vise, right? I don't know. Maybe. That's like a very late game option. Ooh, potions. And identify. I have a lot of money, though, but... I do want the leg. Oh, I can't afford the wand anymore. That's fine. The leg notification. Oh, I've got full leg notification now. I still want it, because it's good against Sky Sharks. Oh, there's a curing. Probably not so useful, actually, the curing for this character, because I've got a level to basically give me curing for free anyway. Still, a yeah, level one cost piety. Are the rogue like this cold? God told you not to take it? Yeah, yeah, no, that definitely makes sense not to. Um, But it still could be fun. If you wanted to, like, abandon Rue afterwards. But you keep all your, like, sacrifices. And then you have to, like, work back up through your piety getting even more sacrifices. So, that's not good. There we go. Yeah, it's uh, definitely one of the most brutal gods to abandon your piety on. Oh, if troves are better, it might be actually considerable. That's the thing, though. It's like, troves are so random, you don't really know whether you're going to get something worth it or whether you just lost all your piety for nothing. I thought there was a chance of it being a freebie. Right. Yeah, I mean, that... I think... Hmm. Trying to think if there are, like, any that like completely freebies. I'm not sure. I mean, there's ones where you give up items you don't need, right? But yeah, I mean, I guess with a god whose piety works differently, it's possible that you would lose it. Oh, this doesn't look good. I think I just, Oh, is that Dagger Venom? I gotta kill that guy. I think I back up, and I think I can survive the rocks to the face. Oh, no rocks to the face, but if it had have done them, I could have survived them, I'm pretty sure. 
Also, Ushkeo, reason? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it would be free on Ushkeo, wouldn't it? Because you lose your piety. Although, do you have to have piety to activate it? Probably not. Oh, hmm. I might purify myself. Because that gets rid of the slow as well. Okay. Oh, it did hit me. Um, I might go berserk on this dude. I think I've got enough health to make that work. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Actually, that was a little sketchy. Maybe I should have done a healing potion first. Oh, well. The good thing about berserk is that I can get rid of the slow afterwards if I need to. The bad thing is I can't uh, heal up while it's on. What happens if you're with, like, Ash and Zari, though, and you take the trove to lose all your piety? Do your items shatter, or is it not like that? I have no idea how that works. I oh, gain one armor class, and okay, I basically gain like five defenses putting this on, but I lose the ability to teleport. That seems like super sketchy. I gotta pick it up anyway. I don't think I'll put it on, but maybe. Ah, oh, I can't quite afford the one. Need 10 more gold or something. I remember you uh, left a big stack of haste potions in a Bailey as a champion angels character for inventory space to get a haste potion trove. Wait, you can actually get, I guess you can get haste potion troves on champion angels. Because usually there's like a no useless items policy, but it's technically not useless item. It's technically, technically, because you can swap gods, right? Hmm. Strange. So I'll check its damage. Um, I think it, oh wait, what's the chance of getting all the, one of these? 80% on a mind burst, I might just do it with one of those. Make sure I get rid of it. Or oh, it generates before you pick the god, maybe? Possibly, I'm not sure with the, I guess it does, right? It probably just straight up doesn't take your god into account, um, I'm guessing. Because I know it takes racial things into account. But it would be really weird on seeded runs if it took your god into account, so I don't think it does. But the folks that can't get us to give up blinks, yeah, exactly. Although, weirdly, um, draconians can be asked to give up armor. Because apparently it uses the enchant armor scrolls, but like, it still doesn't feel right. Ooh, that dude's got a net. Because... It still means that you sometimes have to pull like, useless items out of a trove, which... I feel like something that's useless kind of... It seems weird to grab something that's useless. I don't know, just feels weird to me. Oh, they got changed to trunk? Wait, so forms of, no, uh, draconians don't need armor troops anymore? Because that would kind of make sense. I don't know if Bates this guy just using all his nets. There we go. Uh, these guys are just throwing pebbles at me, right? Oh, heavy spear, sure. That's fine by me. Oh, the draconian thing to get changed? Okay, that makes sense. That's not too bad. So I guess that uh, means all the racial ones are taken into account. Wait, was there another dude with a net here or something? I think there was. Oh, four of electrocution. Okay, I'll grab one of those. I don't think the enemies run out of stones, unfortunately, so I can't just sit back there. There used to be, like, a really annoying strategy where you had to, like, sit back and run enemies out of stones and stuff, but thankfully that got changed. Uh... But you can still run dudes out of nets, so... Oh, come on. Miss a net. There we go. That's better, because then I get to pick it up. Some say they do actually have to kill these guys, although... 
I wonder if they're doing more damage to me or themselves, because they do have a reflection, but they also don't have much shield. Oh, is there another dude with nets? No, it's polymorph this time round. Uh. Oh, one of them has javelins, which is a bit more sketchy. Um. I'll just take it by an Emily, because that would be kind of fun, because I can set it off with a wand, but no, I don't. Um, sure. Oh. I actually run back. I think that's the right thing to do. I'm not entirely sure, though. And then I can get my health back. I'm just, uh, I could have run into where those guys were. Which way is the quickest way around to these guys? Can I just go round this way? I think it's a lot quicker to get up to them. There we go. Now I'm actually in the island of the Santa. All those gnolls just bouncing you with stones. It's funny how, like, in effect of the stones are. I mean, they like that when you throw them as well. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. A guy in playtime and you're just throwing little pebbles at them. It's not going to do a lot. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of a cool vault. Because it's like a little village with, like, a moat around it. And all the villagers just come out and pelt you with stones. I actually kind of like that. Alright, that's 10 levels of dungeon done. I might do it on the 11th level. I don't have a flaming weapon though, do I? I got a whip of flaming. That's a bit of sad. Oh, there's a minotaur? Where? Give me a minotaur. Rum had uh, stones in your game and threw them at you for... Wait, for 21 damage? It was spooked by 20? I mean, don't some of the uniques get, like, extra damage? Uh, so things like, I think, like, the Minotaurs do as well, and, like, these gauntlets and stuff. Oh, it's very distant. Where they can, like... Because I know, like, the Minotaurs and Quick Blades and stuff can be kind of ridiculous. Um, oh, distant. I'm going roughly the right direction. So Grum probably had, like, some bonus damage from their skill. Uh, nearby? Okay. Well, I guess if I'm getting closer, I might as well just keep it going down, although I got to decide where to go now. I'll try this side. Okay, Axis is meant to lay. I definitely want fighting. I'll bring it up to 16. I'll get a little bit of armor, maybe 10 of that. I'll get a little bit of invocations, maybe 10 of that. That should be good, I think. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should be getting throwing because I'm going to have to fight. Hydras, um, at some stage. Wait, how far away did that say it was? Very nearby, good. I think it just adds to their base damage? It's definitely possible that that is what it does. Um, I didn't, I haven't actually looked it up, so I can't confirm exactly what it does. Alright, how's my inventory? Actually, pretty good. Let's go in. I can put this armor on. And depending on the enemy damage type, it's probably worth it. Oh, it doesn't give resist corrosion, does it? Because, <laughs> uh... Oh, well, wow, all the wrong keys. I don't want to peer down the resist corrosion for that area. Hopefully there's another way in, but I'm not sure there is. What about this dude? It's just dangerous because it's high enough level, I guess. In fact, unfortunately, I got this area um, before I got the lair, which always makes it really tough, unfortunately. Ooh, there's a Borog in there. Yeah, there's no chance I can take out a Borog, which means I'm not going to get that artifact download, unfortunately. Um... Right. How do I get acid resistant? What should I do? Oh, well. So, arm myself up with this armor. Oh, am I out of the view of the... Oh, I am. Huh. 
<laughs> I was expecting it to start me in view and I'd had to run down to that area, but sure, I'll take it starting out of view. All right, I can identify myself. I'll do another scroll, I think. I don't know if you remember the old, old Bjorg strats of giving Warlord stones to throw. Um, I don't think I do remember that old strategy. I don't think I really played Bjorg back then much. Huh. And I guess I just did large damage with stones. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna die. I just gotta remember the pacifying in here is like not that great. Um, I don't think I do the next. Oh, it's got a shield, doesn't it? It's a dire flail. How much does that hit for? Actually, I think I do go in here. So I get the shields or the throwing first. It's a real question. I think I just get like five shields. Um, any buffs they could do? I think I just had to go in. Got the resist electric at least, so that's something. All right, and I could get it with the roots as well. Oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I mean, I guess the roots help strip through it. I can put on the little shield. Which doesn't hurt me that much with my attack delay. It brings me up to 9 shield value. I'm not going to fight these melee unless they have a good axe. Because I'm going to have to use roots to take them out, which I don't. I do give a ring, but I know I can't do the last area. So I'm just going to go to bail and go to the Minotaur now, I think. Oh, neither do you, but you still have people doing it. Can you get them other weapons like, I don't know, javelins have existed forever, right? Um, <laughs> I know the boomerangs that used to be a thing. Just tearing through things to extend with stones. But that sounds so funny these days, because you definitely couldn't tear through anything with extended with stones these days. Alright, Minotaur, what have you got? What have I got? I've got Curari. It doesn't look like it's resistant to that from the message I saw there. Okay, it's got silver javelins, no poison resist. So the starting thing, I should start with a Curari. Oh, I missed. I might put it in a net. Okay, I'm gonna slow it, I'm gonna net it. I might root it up as well. And then just beat it up. There we go. Yeah, that's enough shields. I get the throwing going. Alright, silver javelins are good. It's got a whip, which I don't need. Don't need his plate armor. Got some potions. I got some scroll of identify, which I can use on whatever this is. Fog, alright. And that's it. Okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. At least I could do that, because often the early ones are not so doable. Oh. That was too friendly for you. Did you have to, like, constantly top up their stones, or once you gave them stones, was that, like, an infinite supply of stones? Because I remember, like, monsters used to have, like, a limited supply of range things that you could just run them out of. Uh... I imagine you had to top them up. Yeah, you probably did. There must be like before Bjork had a limit of one gift per orc or something as well. Oh, you had to make them stop on the tire? Wait, otherwise they'd just run forward. Huh. But so it's brand new unlimited, yeah. Because they didn't use the, like, motion on time either, but, um, yeah, you just get endless stones. But it would still just be kind of a nuisance having to constantly top them up. If you could just like, get them a stone once, it would be so much nicer. Uh, what have we got here? Flight. I've got the invisible and the whole magic point intelligence one. I'll swap with the fly when I need it. Also, sacrifice kobolds. That demonologist sacrificing everyone to Kiku. Short sort of flaming. Also, not a Hydra slaying weapon. 
I was trying to get the bees out of view so they would go berserk, because the uh, main bee could berserk them out, the queen bee. But it didn't. Also, I'm wearing the wrong armor. I'm wearing the minus tele armor. Like, it's good armor, but... It's also sketchy running around with minus teleport on, right? I wish I could emulate all these dudes, but... I don't think so. Um, if I just charmed one of these dudes... Does it? Oh, of course it follows me. That doesn't help at all. So many dudes. I just had to get them with the acid because, I mean, they're in a row and I can't run away. More plate armor. Just checking, mainly checking axes, but my axe is decent. It's just I want to, I want to broad axe so I can charge it up. That's all. All right, it's definitely time for the land now, and I've got a lever which is good in the land because they can pacify beasts. Like this guy it would be a sixty percent chance. Okay, it's not quite as good as I thought. Mainly because I like skill. Uh, I want to let the one of these dudes get closer. There we go. Whew, I got slowed. I might might get rid of that slow. And I might slow this guy up because I'm already a bit wounded. Come on, 70% ahead. I'll eventually get it. And my Alevalent thing lets me purify away the petrification, which is great. Um, uh, with Sonya, she's got, uh, what's, that's not the right thing. Sorry to examine her, she's got distortion, so I should either polymorph her or, actually I've got polymorph, I should use that. Guardian Serpent is probably fine. Oh, the Nugget still uses the, the stir, dispersal. Swamp Dagger, Firebender, or Tanju, those are actually getting kind of nasty. Oh, whoops. Can I mind burst it? This is kind of awkward. Oh, uh, well, I guess that worked to the end, but not ideal. When she gets volleyballed to do a thing, they can still use the distortion. Oh, enchant armor. What uh... enchant nothing just yet? Elias OP? I mean, theoretically, if I get against these beasts in here, it's a good chance. Oh, hell rats. I wonder what those kind of beasts. Probably. Like, there's a 70% chance of petrify, uh, pacifying, I mean. So. <laughs> Gotta presume they do count as little beasts. Also, I should grab those boots. I can wear boots. Uh... I should also check that I haven't missed any other piece of armor, so... Gloves and a hat, I think, is what they're are to check. I haven't seen a hat, I'm pretty sure. It would either be Gastronok or Joseph that would be likely to deliver a hat this early in the game, I reckon. That Gastronok and Lair is reasonably likely. Huh. They might go in here, but unfortunately I'll lose my mushroom from my cleaving. This is also not great having two guys of poison. Oh, it's just a uh, purifying slow bed fly like nothing. Yeah, because I guess there's a ton of ways to get slowed in here as well. Um, or petrified. Well, more petrified than slowed, I guess. Alright, throwing's doing well. I want some fighting. And then I probably just want to get straight back into throwing or something. Get it up to 12, which I believe is the mid delay on the boomerang. Because so, I got a ton of boomerangs all of a sudden. Oh, Spirit Guardian Amulet. I've got... Reflection. I got a ton of magic points because of that rig I've got on. Um, Fire is this I got already. Do I actually have a shield now, but... Bedfry is so annoying. Bedfry can be lethal if it's in the wrong spot. I might put on the put on the um spirit guardian. I don't know if this is worthwhile or not. 
I don't know, because my god of powers use like magic points, so I don't want to not be able to heal myself because I'm out of magic points. Also, that's not the best area. Wherever I go, I'm going to get pushed out of a good spot, though, by the elephants. Um, I might go back to the reflection. I don't know. If I didn't already have the fire this, obviously the one with fire this would make sense. Oh, especially now you can't even hide behind. Oh, right. You can't hide behind the allies because the petrification spreads. Huh. I mean, it doesn't matter for this character because I don't think I've got a way of making allies. But I guess it does matter for like summoners and stuff because they used to just be able to hide most of the time. Do I have to pet, uh, pacify one of these? I think I'm... Oh, actually, I think I do. Yeah, that was getting it. A little bit lower than the hit points. I mean, it was definitely under control still, but... Oh, hey, Nurgle. This is not the best place to see Nurgle. Um, I want to get her around the corner. Oh. I wanted to have her uh, how she couldn't, like, see me, so she didn't summon her to rocks, but... Uh, she might just go back to the staircase and take the attack to opportunity. I think that's probably fine. Yeah, I mean, they didn't do a lot with the attacks of opportunity. Where is she? All right. Oh, I've got tons of roots, but I get those. Anyway, I'll put some more on her, and I'll also get her with a curari, because I believe she's affected by that. She's not wearing anything to protect her. There we go. Easy enough. But I don't think she can bring up walk wallets anymore, right? They got removed? 100% sure, though. Uh, see a lack of choke points here. Yes, it's all right. <laughs> right, well, the first level started now. I finally got three staircases, although thankfully my entrance to the land looked pretty undefended. Um, so I was scared to have problems because I know that can be a big problem when you first go down to the lair. Whoa, lots of death yikes. I'll bring one of them upstairs. Yeah, and this guy doesn't... Oh, wait. Why is this somewhere I've already seen? That's that's alright, I guess. It's a little bit of distance. Uh, it's not gonna kill me. I'll just fight it. <laughs> yeah, like, even if it petrified me, I'm fine. Oh, I guess I will get... I should have probably started with the Curari on that guy, honestly. Just made sure it's true instead of risking it at all. Alright, fighting is doing well. Axis is doing well. Throwing needs to go up to... I might bring it up to 14. Um, armor can also go up to 10. Oh, the invocations as well. Those are all things that I wanted to work on. Ah, oh, scuff for harm. Nope, I'll keep my cloak. Get the extra armor class. Alright, I'll just give him pulling these guys back because there's probably multiple of these Komodo dragons. I must find the door. It looks like there should be something tough by that door, but there's noise. Let's take a look. Ah, secrets. Alright. I am fine with that one. I haven't got poison resist yet. That's kind of the only resist I need to get. Also, was that an axe? It wasn't a good one, though, right? So I got war axes, hand axes, battle axes, right?
And I've got a cloak already. I've got a plus one cloak, so I don't care about that one. That door placement. How's that door placed? Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Like, it just opened it up. It's like, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It actually doesn't even lead anywhere. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if that door's meant to be placed like that, but it is. Like, it looked completely fine from the side angle that I approached on, and I opened the door, led to snakes, but it technically wasn't blocky, and I was like, oh, Dex? Gotta see invisible. How many invisible things are there in the lair? Um... My part of the intelligence magic points, because I took off the spirit guardian, I think. I don't know if that might have given me a shield or something. Oh, the door is just part of the non fall train? No, that makes sense. It's like when you get a door leading to, like, the orb chamber in Vaults 5 and stuff. It's just a random one that just happened to be in exactly the right spot. Oh, I don't need this bird. God, I got a way better one of those. Oh, four-headed hydra rather close. I can pacify it, right? 50%, okay. Go try and kill it. No. Actually, maybe not. It's not doing a lot of damage. I might try and pacify it. Come on. Alright, three attempts isn't too bad, I guess. For a 50% chance. What have we got? Ooh. I didn't have teleports up until now. I was kind of going off the uh, assumption that I'd identify my teleport scrolls. Hi, at least I have now. Oh, well, Elia's actually opium spider. Wait, and spider? I guess you can go over to the confusion, but... I'll get rid of some of that poison. Wait, what do they do that's, like, extra good in spider? I guess they work on all the spiders, right? Like, you can pacify the spiders and stuff, which is nice. Because all the spiders are going to be beasts. Most everything is beast, right? And I guess on the orb spiders, they can be quite good to, like, stop one hitting you with orb and destruction. It's like, oh, get pacified. Uh, I do have a choke point. I might go to it. That way, when I inevitably go to sleep, they won't all surround me and hit me. Oh, why am I looking at my inventory? Yeah, I think that was a misclick there. Oh, ghost moths? Oh, emperor scorpions, brood mothers, spark wasps. Right. No, that makes sense, especially if you, I guess you'd probably need to see invisible to find where the ghost moth is, but still. I think this character actually does have seen invisible, they got on one of their rigs. Not that this character has to worry about spiders, because I've got the shoals by the looks of things. Oh, everything. Sure. I should like to fight. I, yeah, I should. I don't want this shark going berserk on me. Especially with all those other guys around. There's only like a frog left down here, isn't there? Alright, that level's done. Let's go down yet again. We've got an impressive heat. I've got a fire resist. Oh, I have minus one cloak of fire resist. It'd be better if you're a dwarf. Uh, Contend me to be taken off. Right, they lose two armor class to get a fire resist. There's a fire volcano. I should probably put on my amulet on the fire volcano, but I don't think I'll put on the cloak. Come on, I want to light this guy up. There we go. Distant rocks. I have to go down. It worked for me last time. See if that gets me towards it. Just an avalanche. Okay, that doesn't help. I'll try going to the left. Oh, there we go. There it is. So I can drop something, right? Uh, I drop the minus telescale mail. 
Uh, what else is worth dropping? Okay. Might drop the magic points. Go put on the ablet, because that was pretty good in here. Let's go on in. See what we've got. So far, these are just little fiery creatures, so they shouldn't be too bad. Oh, elves. Elves aren't right. I want to be slowed. Ow, these are doing some damage to me. Um. Roots are the ones around me. My roots up that one as well. Whew. This is actually kind of bad. I'll root these up again, but I might need to throw in a healing potion at some stage. My health gives are going down here. Alright. Can delay this one slightly by closing the door. Uh, it doesn't help a lot, but it does do a little bit. Can I heal myself? Hey, that did something. Uh... Yeah, try to heal up. I think I can deal with these elves, but they're definitely not easy. It might have a flaming broad axe. I know these places often have flaming weapons. Leather armor fire resist. I should actually check what items on the ground. It's mainly just leather, isn't it? Oh, come on. Yeah, I could get out of the roots as well rather easily. Oh, loot, okay. Like some fire dragon armor. We've got a leather armor again. Plus zero chain armor doesn't do the trick. I'll take the fire dragon scales. Think I'm done with this place. Unfortunately, not the best loot in the world. I don't know if I'll end up using any of that. Oh well, let's get out of here. That's the only problem is the uh, ones of flame as the plants get out of the way. And I feel like these areas with the electric heals often specifically have plants, probably to make it harder for you to zap the creatures with the uh, ones of flame too. I don't know, maybe it's just because uh, the lair has a lot of plants and so, and also has a lot of electric heals. So it might not be something that's done on purpose, but it could be. I always find that new Geo Holder looks kind of strange. No, I definitely haven't got used to it yet. I wonder what these jellies were guarding, like, the entrance, uh, to slime pits. They probably were. And then I, they probably all ran around elsewhere while I was doing the volcano. Yeah, what looks, uh... So pretty on the mini map. It's kind of just like a little, uh, little splash. Yeah, it's got nice little coloring with like the deep water and the shallow water. I wonder whether you ever get like ones that are specifically a certain image on the mini map. Because like, I think some balls kind of do form certain things. I know like the skull one and corrupt. Um, but there's, there might be ones that specifically use different color tiles to give a pretty mini map. I'm gonna go down to my last level here of uh lair. Uh oh 
it just instantly got me with the petrify. Like, I didn't even get a chance to react there. I think it uh, hit me twice as I was going down the staircase, maybe? Because I guess the first time it hit me, it slowed me or something. Which I'm not entirely sure how it got me twice. Oh, it's Sword of Power. That's... It's a great sword. No, I can't. I don't have the decks to use a sword of power. Oh, the snake entry, which is an adder tile on the minimap, is cute. As a lava for the full tongue. Oh, I think I've seen that one. Yeah, I know the one. Yeah, that one is kind of cool. In fact, it might have been you that pointed it out to me or something. I know someone pointed it out to me in chat. Do I just try boomerang the Hydra? I'll try. There we go. But I got so many options for dealing with Hydras. I can boomerang them, I can pacify them. Possibly take them out once, but that probably would be the very worthwhile way of doing it. Uh, regen. Got the... Oh, wait, I still got the Spirit Guardian one on. I might try the regen for a while, see how that goes. I always love having, like, at least one regen, but I'm not sure if this was it or not. The reflection was doing well, but I'll, I'll try the regen. Oh, there's one vault that's a QR code? Wait, what does, that, what does it lead to? Like, the is it just a random look QR code, or does it lead to, like, one of the cruel websites or something? Oh, this is okay. Twenty seven, you think? Oh, that would make sense. It's, uh, yeah, that's a very cruel number. Oh, huh. I don't know if the boomerangs is the right thing here. I guess it worked. I don't know. I love how obvious this new cosplaying does is. It really did need a more obvious tile because it's a very dangerous thing to be standing in. Yeah, it just like... I don't know, it just like stands out so much, which is amazing. I remember Minbei saying she tried a bunch of different DCSS-related things until she found one that worked as a vault. Huh. So how would you actually do QR codes work? Because I know you can, like, use them as links, but can you just put, like, random information in one? Or... I don't know. Anyway, let's go down, I guess. Because if you can't just, like, put... I guess it'd be, like, a maximum amount of uh, information you can put in one. Oh, you don't know uh, how they work? Yeah. That's made me kind of curious, though. Like, what the maximum amount of information you can actually fit into a QR code is. Because there's got to be some sort of maximum. Um... Although, I guess in theory, there's also, like, maximum lengths that links could be in stuff as well. Because there's, uh, I'm pretty sure there is anyway, but although I think the maximum lens is pretty ridiculously long. Because you got, like, all the parameters and stuff. I think it's, like, it's, so it's, like, it's a few thousand characters, I think, or something. Ooh. Bring this dude back. Not actually sure if the statue is protecting me or not, but I'm going to presume it's in the way. Uh, I don't know if I need a curari there, but it's better to be safe when I've got so many of the curaris. The catapult was gone, though, it's still in the tunnel. There's always one in that tunnel, which is really funny. Just waiting to catch an unaware player in the tunnel with the calcifying dust.
All right, Les done, right? So it's time for Dungeon 12, then... I don't know where I go after that. Oh, oh, Orcish Mines, of course. I haven't done that one yet. Uh, I can't get that. Oh, we will go back to a real choke point. In fact, I don't even take any damage heading back to the real choke point. It's obviously worthwhile. I got Yaris. I mean, if I get. If I get a death form, maybe, but I'm unlikely to use a death form on this character. Because I'll probably just go with, like, the shiny one or something and extend it. And then go back to a Leveland afterwards for a title. <laughs> Um, which I think half piety isn't quite enough to get the title I want. I think I need like five bits of piety, so I might have to do like some sort of area afterwards to get up my piety. Strength ring is not bad. Um, what am I carrying around? Probably don't really need that fire dragon armor. Yeah, I might take off the stay invisible. I just swap it on as needed, I think. No, I'm gonna lair. Uh, not the lair, the Orcish Mines. I won't do one more level of the dungeon. I was tempted, but... I wanna get the items for the Orcish Mines. Arr, not in a quark sack. I'm gonna have to wait that one off. Uh, I'll just sit around 100 turns. Major is definitely not still here. Is this dude's gonna have an axe for me? Guess not yet. This electrocution one's not bad. Oh, Alien's uh, Explorer, right? So just run around the bus? Yeah, yeah, definitely explore. So I guess, uh, yeah, running around bus wouldn't be too bad. Do they also like it when you kill demons? Probably not. I know that Zen does. And Shiny would definitely like it when you kill demons. I don't think any of these dudes got good axes. Plenty of pad axes. Plenty of uh, broad axes. Uh, no, uh, the other ones. War axes, the ones that I've got. Oh, and I also need to keep an eye out for shields, don't I? Uh, in fact, I should quickly check, but I'm pretty sure these bucklers are the best I've seen. And bucklers aren't bad. I mean, they basically... They require a little skill they're kind of free to use. Uh, okay, I'll pull in some stuff, but... I want to follow the wall at the same time as anything else. Because it's mighty all these other dudes up. That's enough. I'm going up, especially with these dudes being minded. Ah, oh, just a war hex. <laughs> They do look slightly different, so you can kind of tell what the axes are just by looking at them, but I don't know. They're really to be similar. Uh, that's a little scary. I might root these dudes, just make sure they die super quick. I could do a Divine Vigor? I might do a Divine Vigor. Make sure I got a few extra hit points. Oh, wait. Also, I should be hitting this guy with a Curari. There we go. That's going to make it trivial. Uh, what do I need as a skill? I'll bring axes up to 18 for when I get a broad axe. I'll bring evocations up to 8. And I'll bring the invocations up to like 14 or something. Oh, uh-oh. A teleport's fine. Although I still don't have any willpower, so this dude's got 40% of paralyzing me. Oh. Okay. There's not a lot I can do about that, though. That's kind of a bit of a worry. I might take the upper staircase. See what we've got. Uh, still a dude around here, isn't there? There is a fact, still a dude. 
Other rage weapon shop. Uh, it's not quite what I need. Yeah, the hand cannon of freezing and a hand cannon of flaming. There are the net slow and there other boomerangs. I guess that's fine. I have done a Minotaur Archer before. They were okay, but they're nothing like super special. Actually, no, they're pretty good, aren't they? Because they got a good aptitude, I think. Oh. Huh. Yeah, I think they were just, like, super solid because they had, like, all the aptitude they needed and everything, but I don't think they had the... They didn't have anything, like, special that helped them with it. They were just, like, really good aptitudes. So they were actually pretty good. Coglin Hunter Dream Job with the dual hand cannons and Shoras. Oh, that really is a Coglin Hunter Dream right there. I think I might have the uh, ogre ending by the look of some of these two headed ogres, right? And single headed ogres. Oh, not the mages. The mages are bad. Um, because they paralyze. I do a little bit of healing to myself. Um, okay. I think this is good now. I'll just head to the staircase, get my, the rest of my health back. Yeah, I mean, I've got the piety. I'm on full piety, so I can do a bit of healing. I don't think it costs a huge amount. Ooh, that's okay, but I should retreat up again. I've had some characters that are like, oh, this is an ogre mage. Uh, they're like capable of doing this entire area without even having to go on the staircase. They just fight with the ogres at once, but not this character. Oh, another weapon shop. Come on, broad axes, broad axes, no broad axes. Oh, next job, I guess. Ooh, what's that? A spear of battle? Okay. Come with how much? Fine scale mail. Twisted scale mail. Shiny chain mail and glowing chain mail. No, I mean, some of those artifacts. Oh god, uh, Book of the Warp if I want Manifold Souls. Imagine trying to get that going on the Minotaur, but maybe. Book of Blood for like sublimation of blood. Hmm, I don't think those shops are that good. I'm just going to dodge level 13. I'm actually going to check for resist poison. If there's like a play down resist poison, I might swap to this chain armor. That's not that good. Because I can always get another fire resist by putting on that cloak. Uh, but I need to get a poison resist from somewhere. Not a ring of positive energy. That's not going to do the trick. But I might still carry it around. Maybe. Uh, might drop the flight. Oh, really? I can't pick up the scroll just yet? Okay, then. Oh, I guess I won't carry around the positive energy. Oh. Oh, dude, is it going to back up? But they're probably guarding the vaults, judging by that water. It's one of the ones that will have all the archers behind the water. Can I just zap a, like, acid or something? Just get rid of this guy to the summoning? I guess I could also use the uh, um, javelin. Uh, I think this old guy also had like a bad legs or something, unfortunately. All right. That's fine. These dudes are, are trying to shoot me, but oh, that's a better shield. It's a kite shield, which probably gets more skill than those. 
I guess I'll try swap it right now, so... Doesn't slow my tank delay that much, but yeah, I should definitely be getting some more skill. I might just do that right now, bring it up to 10. Now I might bring it up to 12. I don't like this. Two of these guys can paralyze me. <laughs> oh, I was on the ground? Leather armor of cold resist. That's disappointing. Oh, so another guy with a kite shield, just in case I didn't get one the first time. I might back up a bit. Why can't I rest? I don't think, oh wait, maybe the guy with the pole I'm gonna stab me or something. That's probably why I could rest. Yeah, it looks like it might have been. Alright, where's the guy with the pole up? Now I can finally deal with it. Uh, might put the regen back, and I might even drop the reflection, even if it is a decent thing to go with. That's a war active flame, if I have more hydras, but I don't think I got the swab. Um, might just back around this corner. It's maybe actually worth using as a weapon, because it is plus one. Uh, I mean, electric is not bad. It would be more reliable damage, but probably smaller average damage. Okay. I gotta put down some roots before these guys smite me to death. Manly aids are such a weird thing. Like, a bee that comes at you with an axe. It's um, definitely... Yeah, they're definitely terrifying. Plus 10 rapier freezing, two cold resist on it. I don't think that's something I need. Oh, but grab tambourine on the other hand is definitely something I need. Those ones are really nice because at the very least they like pull things back from you, but they also like constrict them for a couple of tons. So it really does help you escape anytime you need to escape. I mean, there's room for the stack of spiders. It's all my unidentified stuff, isn't it? That's, as in, uh, that's filling my inventory. I think it is. Uh, I might draw my wand of flame. What have we got here? Plus three war eggs of flame because fire cold resist randomly contaminates when you take it off. Oh, it's like worth using because it's plus three and it gives fire and cold resist. Oh, Tamarind is so good, no wonder it rotates with Vile. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Because the Vile is also pretty good, at least against certain enemies. Um... Do I want to use this axe? How many mutation potions have I got? I don't have any. Oh, I don't think I do because I have no mutation potions, and I will get something better... ...hopefully soon. <laughs> Who knows when? But even a plus zero broad eggs might be better, although I don't know if I don't have don't know if I have branding just yet. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh gonna run to the staircase. Yeah, because when there's more, one of these guys is always modeled them. In fact, I knew they'd be moldable because I saw that group of guys before as well. Alright, next one. I think this is the last one, but I'll bring it upstairs in case there are still more of them. Oh, there are in fact still more of them. Uh, hide in this room, I guess. 
Can't be too many more creatures if nothing, yeah, nothing left. Because nothing came along with the mic. Oh, Ogre Mage. Um, must ask for a little bit of healing before I have to fight the Ogre Mage. I've been very lucky with the paralysis so far. I'm kind of surprised. So am I just boomerang this guy? And then just hit it with the flaming. Oh, I'm getting shot at. At least this character's got, what, 12 shield value, so getting shot at isn't the worst thing in the world. And I just picked up a manual of dodging. Will I ever get dodging? I'll probably, I'll probably just do the thing that I sometimes do where I get, like, 10 dodging or whatever. This is a big group of guys. Um, I gotta take this back to the staircase. Do I have a cold resist? No. Do, can I get a cold resist? Uh, not without putting on the contamination or removing broad X. Oh, um... That's uh, fine, I'll get marked. Alright. I'm actually kind of tempted on that axe. Uh, it's, it's a little silly, but yeah, I'll do it. I'll take the axe. It would be kind of funny if the next thing I find is a broad axe, right? <laughs> Alright, let's bring this freezing race back to the staircase. Well, that made it trivial having two cold resists, but... I reckon it would have been quite hard without any cold resist. I still don't have a potion of willpower, which means this guy's 50% on his agony. I think I berserk it, actually. Of course, it's reflecting my own damage back at me, but I guess I've got a lot more health than it does. Anything good here? Blink. I don't think I can cast it, but I gotta learn it. Why not? It's not like a Leveland minds about me casting spells or anything. I'm allowed to cast whatever I'm capable of casting in plate armor. Ooh, silver javelins are good. Ooh, poison resistance is also excellent. Also, hey there, the Dritsky, thanks for raiding. How was your stream going today? How's everyone doing? I'm doing great today. How are you doing today? How was your run? Because you were playing... Oh, I, I did see your stream title earlier. It was some sort of chaos character. I can't remember what. Let me see if I can get a shout out going here. There we go, that seems to work. I do want the poison resist ring. I'll buy that one. And I'll also buy... Don't care about the brilliance yet. Probably won't ever get that one. I'll buy the... Identifying the silver javelins, I think. I've got enough money. I do scrolls because I'm looking for the brand eventually. Alt noise. Whatever. I'll drop the noise. It gives me the poison resist. So I got strength, I got dex. Actually, I should probably just take off the decks and put on the poison resist. I'll lose, like, a shield value or something. Yeah, I do. I lose a little bit of accuracy, but it's worth it, I think. Especially once I get into the snake pits. Well, stream was alright. Unfortunately, the Chaos Troll went down to an unfortunately timed Zomb summoning. Oh, that's, uh, that's Zomb for you, right? But the unfortunate timed summoning. What sort of level did they get to? Because I know the... Actually, I haven't played with the reworked Zom. Um, I'm actually not sure how the summoning scales now. I know that used to kind of fall off a little bit later on, so it was early was when it trended to get you. But also, it could bring in bad things later on. I think it... Uh, I think there was always a chance of shadow creatures or something. Uh, I might just do a little bit of healing. That's <laughs> a little, because I don't want to be hit too hard. Are oh, you playing Trunk? Oh, that's right. You usually play offline, right? The Trunk key, so maybe not. 
and to let, take a look at those changes. I'm not exactly sure what they are because I've never played them myself. My character was around level 20. Can't recall exactly. Right, his name. Oh, that's a shame. Losing a high level character to those sort of effects. Guess I got the resist I need. So I guess I just go find some snakes. And I had lots of fear, right? And by loss, I mean eight, which really is a lot. Yeah, I think my first, uh, like, decent attempt at a Chaos Knight also made an end to the summoning, but... I don't know, that character was kind of struggling. Ooh, I might go up. That's fine. I don't need magic points for god abilities, but I should be fine. That's the correct thing to get. I was getting axes up to uh, 18. I was getting invocations. I think there was something else. Evocations, that's right. Any main goal on those runs today? Uh, 15 Rune Reaver? Yeah, this is... Uh, I'm just trying to extend my streak, so I'm doing a 15 Rune streak, seeing how long I can continue that one on. It's gone longer than I thought it was going to get. It's actually doing... I think it's up to 7 right now, which is... My third longest streak. So hopefully I can continue it, but it is always definitely quite a risk of me dying each game. What sort of weapon is that? A whole bit of venom. At least I got the poison resist. Oh, hey, Jallywick. You also came in on the raid there. How's your day been? I might give you a shout out. Why not? Even if you weren't the one that raided. Yeah, why don't you go check out Shallywick? He streams. Well, he sometimes streams Dungeon Crawl. He sometimes streams other stuff. What are you streaming at the moment, mainly, Shallywick? Uh. Is that. Did I spell your name correctly there? Hey, looks like it worked. Oh, well, 7, uh, 15 runes, nicely done. Yes, my longest 15 rune streak. Um, oh, distortion. I've got boomerangs. And this dude's slower than me, so I don't need to be scared of this guy. Your last few streams were janky stream day streams. You're finally setting up your office. Right, because you were, like, playing on, a, like, your couch before, right? You were, like, really far back from the screen. So it was almost like the more of a console experience. Uh, this is fine, but I might put down a little bit of roots. Oh, yeah, actually, you're, like, uh, full-on moving house. You're not just, uh, like, setting things up. Got a new office with a chair. I mean, that was certainly, like, help with, like, reading things on the stream, right? Just being up a bit closer. What do I do here? I might actually... I haven't used it before. I might bring up my javelins. Because so, uh, there's no point in spending, like, 500 gold on some silver javelins if I'm not going to use them. Oh, you no know, longer does everything have to be on max. Oh, no, no longer everything has to be on max zoom. Yeah, although with Dungeon Crawl, you still kind of want to, like, zoom in a bit, because, um... Actually, that's one thing I like about Dungeon Crawl quite a lot, is that the uh, max view distance isn't huge, so you can actually be zoomed in a lot, because I know, like, a lot of roguelikes, you're just, like, squinting. What do I do against Francis? Okay, like, the thing is, do not use the thing. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what I've been doing with some of my consumables. Okay, that's better, but I might just put down some roots again. There we go. I feel like Dungeon Crawl is one of the games where I do use the most consumables, because I have a really bad habit of just saving away consumables in every other game. But in Dungeon Crawl, you kind of have to. And also, once you've played a game a number of times, you kind of learn when you can use the consumables, because that's the problem when you like initially play a game. You don't know 
when it's worth using a consumable and when it's not. Um, or there'd be like limited numbers it's often ends up with you just not using them because you don't think it's worthwhile. What have we got here? Resistance potions. Okay. Oh, the charm weapon for when I finally get a broad axe and I'll grab the unknown potion. Uh, might as well identify something as well. I'll save a bit of money because I might find something really good for sale. I'm gonna do another scroll. Now oh, amnesia. <laughs> sure. It'd be funny if like enemies had to go over those disposal traps when they're out of view. They'd have uh they'd have to like live through counters for you of trying to get through those traps. I think this is fine. I think I just oh maybe not. Maybe I roots. Uh, Guardian Servant's fast. Um, can I? I can't charm it, right? Oh, maybe 30%? Probably not. Not worth it. I might just throw a javelin. Uh huh. Oh, definitely better with that and DCSS than any other game, but you genuinely have a terrible case of too, use, too good to use syndrome. Yeah, no, it's... I feel like that's a... I know, I know some people are definitely just using consumables, but I feel like that's a very common thing. It's like... Oh, not that era. I'm not going in there. Look at all these Zot traps. That's ridiculous. I mean, I feel like that's kind of a problem with consumables in general, is not knowing when to use them. Um, unless it's a game you've played, like, a number of times through already. I need those potions for late game. Those potions that give you a 5% health. <laughs> yeah, I mean, late game, like, a curing or... Yeah, heal wounds, whatever it's actually called. Heal wounds is the one that does more. Doesn't do a lot unless you're like an ogre, right? And even an ogre, it's um. can be less noticeable because of their higher max health anyway. Uh, combined with their lower defense. Although, actually, to be fair, ogres late game tend to have some reasonably good defense. So they just kind of got more health and more defense late game. I'm not going to get the jab, but I'm only on, like, level 2 of the snake was here, and I've got 180 turns left. I do have the regen on, right? Which does help with the turn count, but... I clearly have been taking too long. Uh, is this fine? I think this is fine. I think I just stab this guy. Well, slash this guy. Oh, they're great on a spring and feel it with uh, 50 evasion. Yeah, exactly, because, uh, like, spring and feel both rely on the high defenses. No, especially if you get, like, hit with some damnation or something, you just need enough hit points so the next damnation won't straight out kill you, or at least have a chance of straight out killing you. I know that's one of my most common later on use of curing or healing potions on the spring -ins. Especially prevalent in RPGs, you find they that you encounter not that any encounter can be resolved without them, with enough uh, luck and stubbornness, so you end up uh, end the game with some quantities of random buff equipment. Yeah, although with some games you can figure out that a certain consumable was like really cheap for how much it does. Like it's uh, cheap enough that if you just you can just oh these are fake, aren't they? Yeah. That's like cheap enough you could just buy oh that's real. Buy as many as you want. I remember that being a case and oh, what's the game? It was like Titan Quest or something. They were like magic potions and they were so cheap that you could just buy as many as you need, and then you'd use them to spam your abilities. 
Um, and it was kind of silly because you could just buy like 20 points of magic points or I think more. I think you should usually buy like 100 of them before you head it out. And every time you round magic, you just cough a potion. I'm sorry for the song. I lose an armor class. But I gain quiet and see I kind of want to wear it. I love color white. I'm coming around to this cloak. I I think I actually got changed up to cloak the thief. It used to be pretty bad, but it's actually really fun now. I had it on a mage last time, and they were going around like fire stopping people at just like medium amounts of noise. On oh, uh, those species, you drink curing for uh, hit points late games sometimes. Uh, actually, I've had characters like even characters that aren't those species. Stuck desperately drinking curing in order to survive and actually had it work out before. Uh, but yeah, it often doesn't work late game. But no, I guess on a spring it kind of sometimes you would have to. Now this is fine. I mean, it was a perfect spot for like some roots or something, but I didn't need it. How many roots have left? I've been using a lot of them. I'm down to seven. Oh, yeah. You want to get Cloak with a Thief with a Dismantles? Do they stack? I've never had those together. If they stack, that would be kind of funny. You could just be like a super silent shadow character. Oh, right. Drop my Wonder Flame. Sure. At this point, you can melee the electric eels if you have to. Um. I'll have probably have to bring the grab that wonder flame again before I go into the shoals. Uh that's not what I want to see actually. Hold on a second. Can I pull these guys back a little bit? Um Fighting's good, I guess. Anything else I'm after? Invocations I might bring up a bit as well. I'll maybe work on armor, but I think I can wait on that. I might bring on the spiders. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I mean, it's such a rare thing to actually have both. So I feel like, well, I guess it depends how much you play Dismantles. If you were, if you, if they were like your favorite god or something, maybe it would be a bit different. Uh... Oh, what are these guys doing here? It doesn't matter, they're slower than me. Wow. Most of them are. So not something I was uh, um, expecting to see as I ran back into an already explored patch of terrain. Well, I'm not on the last level yet, because I know the the last level can often throw bad ambush at you. There's also too many guys. Can I do... Oh, I do have immolation. These two are immune to it, but I still think it's worthwhile. Uh, okay, it's just the two that are immune to the emulation left, of course. That's not ooh, too much of a surprise. Not another snake. They're probably those, they're faster than me. I should probably still retreat back a bit. Oh, right, other silver gems. I got the normal ones, though. I'm actually going to check for shields again. I don't think I've seen a big shield. I've, no, just a... This place is a common source of tower shields, but... Actually, I can't cure up the minus poison resist, can I? 
Because I can cure up a lot of things using a Leveling, but I don't think that's one of them. <laughs> Yeah, I guess, uh, what are the status conditions you can't cure up? I mean, I guess there'd probably be a list of them. Ooh, plus two Tau Shield Protection. That sounds good to me. Ah, of course, I can't carry it, but I guess, uh, oh, don't draw my cloak. Actually, I probably could draw my old, old cloak. That would be another way of swapping these around. Uh... 20 armor class? This character's not, like, hugely armored, but they're not badly armored either. That's, yeah, I'd say that's a fairly average amount for a heavy armor character at this point in the game. Which makes sense, because I got some pretty average armor, and I've got... Well, I've probably got a bit more skills than I often have at this point in the game. Uh, it's because I'm Minotaur, and they have... Lots of, like, uh, lots of really good aptitudes. I think, what is it, plus two in most things? Apart from the implications, which is a plus zero. Out of the things I use, of course, they got lots of minus threes and minus fours in spellcasting. I might just heal up. Uh, no convenient way of pulling this guy next to me is there. I guess this works. That Naga, I do believe, is faster than me now when it tastes itself up like that. I Yeah, it's only slightly faster, right? Because it's... Uh, 71% travel speed, and then it gets 1.5 times that, which, um, you know, that's the bot. 1.06 move, uh, speed. Yeah, okay, so it is ever so slightly faster. Also, I need to do something to it. I might acid it up. Ooh, it's actually doing quite a bit. I might net it up. I should have stabbed to a spot where I think it could double zap me there. That was a little bit silly. Um, I should also check axes again. I know this one's alright, so I've got hand axe of freezing. That's just a hand axe. War axe of flaming, sure. That's basically what I'm using, except worse. And I got one more level of snake pit, so let's go down. Ah, whatever, I'll just fight these guys. Ooh. Go attack again. Again. This is fine. <laughs> the, I was almost starting to pull out a fear there, though, with how much damage they were doing to me, but I think the roots did the trick pretty well. That can stretch and get made way more powerful, because that seems to be reducing my evasion a lot more than it used to. Hey, a Spectral Broad Axe is good. He's got a Kite Shield. Okay, well, I get, I get his axe, but I'm going to need to use something to kill him. I'll bring up the snake first. Uh, Spectral means I want to get him in a corridor. Hmm. What do I have to use on him? I mean, I've got... I guess I'll just go... No, I don't want to go down there. I definitely want to fight him in a corridor. I'll go down somewhere else. He got changed? Yeah, must have. Because what was it giving me? Like, minus 10 or something? I'm not sure of the details. I'm not sure of the details either. But it's definitely... It used to only be like a minus 3 or something kind of pathetic, right? I know it didn't used to do much. I might use an acid. Unfortunately, did corrode, but I did do a bit of damage.
Also, that stuff and tallies been of the Isaurian. There's five that's cold resist, but minus five stars. That's actually two fire and two cold. <laughs> actually, that's actually one of the problems with those forms, is often they don't give you very good resist to elemental stuff, so having them on the form is not too bad. Oh, there he is. Um, do I have, like, a mite or something? Of course not. I don't have, I don't have half myself um, identified. Right, well, I've got Curari. Should work. Got a net. Should also work. Um, if I can hit. Says ninety five percent chance, but he blocked it. Of course. I gotta try him with the net again. Huh? I think I just hit him. Might get him with a Gravitambourine. Does that help? Actually, I'm not sure that does. Uh, should be a good chance with the net, so I'll try getting him with that one again. They're not lasting very long, so it's going through a lot of the nets, unfortunately. Yeah, because he's hasted up, but I got some of the nets back. Um, I don't happen to have, like, a death talisman lying around. I don't think so, because it'd be nice when I take off my axe. Which I probably should do. How am I resist be? I lose um one of my fire resists and I lose all my cold resist. I reckon it's still worth it to get using this broad X. Okay, clumsy's not too bad. That's the contamination gone. So I can go and chart this up to plus five. And Spectral is a good brand, so I'm gonna keep it on Spectral. In fact, I don't even think I can rebrand it even if I wanted to. Oh, am I? Oh, that's a double zap spot, isn't it? Actually, I'm not sure if there was a. Not sure if there was a spot there that wasn't a double zap spot. Ah, right. No, was fire. I should go pick those up again. Let me go. Uh, uh, yeah, let me go pick those up again. Uh. I leave the rest of them. Oh, still off auto pickup, right? Because I, I still fix that setting with the things I drop take them uh, self off auto pickup. I don't know. It was almost useful, but didn't quite do the trick. That'll do. Let's go to snipers level four, right? Oh, you know, Blinky has 100% chance to con escape constriction now? Yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, and it does seem to be that from what I've tested. So that's kind of nice, because it used to be like an almost guaranteed, right? It was like two chances to try to escape, which usually did the trick. It's going around, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's funny how sometimes creatures will go around a long way just to avoid a plant or a door. I mean, I guess it makes sense with a plant, but it's funny when they do it with just a door. Kai shield of fire resist. What is minus protection? I think I'll keep the protection because I've still got one fire resist. But if that was cold resist, I might go use it. Not that I really need cold resist in here. Um, what can I identify? This potion got seven of attraction. That's not going to be needed until, like, probably two, honestly. Although sometimes some of the other hells it makes sense to use a trajan. Because you uh, go down and there's a bunch of creatures around that are nasty creatures. You just want to attract them all in and cleansing flame them or something. That's a thing I often do. Especially in the hell uh, Cositis. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I think I might dump a little bit of fear on these guys. Alright, pull this guy back around the corner, of course. 
Hey, plus two guy shield of fire. This one is fine. This one's also plus two. So it's really a question of do I want three AC or do I want fire resistance? I think the right answer in here is the AC. Uh, I'm not going to be slowed. Oh, it slowed me again. And again. Okay, I guess I just have to be slowed. I don't have the willpower to avoid it there. I might do the roots. It was either that or the fear, and I think either would have been fine. Actually, what is the willpower of one of these guys? Ooh, is it four? Okay, yeah, maybe the roots was the right call then, in that case. And I reckon there's not going to be too many more creatures left in here. I mean, there'll be a few, but I think I've got through the main bulk of them. And then, oh, there we go. There's my rune, although it's guarded by a salamander here. Uh, what am I trying to identify? Just anything, right? Just whatever I've got the most of. I'll do a potion. Oh, a light of it. Actually, a light of it is definitely something I want. Oh, willpower as well. Everything for willpower here. I need to drop... Uh, how do I not have room in my inventory? Didn't I use all my enchant armors, I guess? I guess I found some more stuff. Uh, not enchant armor, enchant weapons. Drop the polymorph. Alright, Saint Rook, what do I do against her? I need to do something, right? Try the spiders, but they're not always the most effective. Oh, I got everything apart from her and roots. Try an acid? Oh, you think you should ID scrolls at the moment? I probably should. I probably got quite a few of them missing. Um, do a little bit of healing. That didn't really work. Uh, where's my silver javelins? I want to do as much damage as I can here, I think. Ooh, that was a big hit. How much does she hit for? 50 damage. Oh, plus electrocution. Um, I think I do a bit of divine healing. I'll do a bit more. That's a bit better. <laughs> So she's got a rope of fire to us. Okay, she's got a great sort of electrocution. Yeah, when she gets the electrocution off, that it really does hurt. Because I, I don't have the resist or anything. Hey, so what's my other branch? It was the shoals, which I can't gain flight by putting on this. Is it a regen? I think I do. And then I just go to the shoals. And the shoals are good source of throwing items, at least. Um... Shame about the lack of cold resist. Let me go. I've got a ring for that, right? It's probably... Wait, what? Did I? Some reason I thought I had a ring for it, but I guess not. Uh... No, okay. I have a ring for fire resist, which is not so good, because I got a... Yeah, it looks like I don't really have a good source, apart from that old axe, which I'm not going back to, because this one's just so much more effective. It's 39 damage plus spectral. Do I actually have the wands of... I don't have the wands of poison yet. Uh, not the wands, the scrolls of poison. Because those are good at taking out Kraken. So are axes though, so it's probably fine. But I still wouldn't mind one. Hey, speaking of Krakens. Let's go see how good this Kraken is. I'll try and keep it at a good distance away from me. Where is it? Um, could be anywhere by now. Like I rested up for a while. Oops. Not me accidentally hitting a plot while I'm trying to run away. 
Okay, that's a good distance. I'll keep it there. That's my little spectral axe. There it is. Alright, not too bad, although I still don't want to get surrounded when I'm in a bad situation or something. What's uh, going on? What's got distortion? Got boomerangs. It's, it's actually really fast, though. Hmm, I guess I just walk up to it, but it, I did die. It had a chance of, like, distorting me around all over the place, though. What am I even wearing? I'm wearing strength and poison resist. I put on the willpower instead of the poison resist. I know there's like the sea snakes, but I don't reckon they're going to do enough poison damage to be a problem. Ooh, Nicola has ooh, gloves of willpower. What even are my gloves? I'm not wearing my gloves. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have a scroll of silence, which is not great. It would have been nice to have one of those. It would have been excellent to have one of those. What can I do to him? A curarium. Pull out a net. Am I getting with the silver jab? Wait, hold up. Where's my skill? 14. Might as use the boomerangs. I think they're slightly faster attacking. There we go. <laughs> that took care of him. Uh... Oh, what is it this time round? I'll drop that cloak. I can come back for it if I need it, I think. And I'll put on the willpower gloves. That actually brings me out decent willpower, right? Three willpower. So I won't be getting... Um, affected by the mental rise quite as often anymore. Get over there. I want his boomerangs. And it's not really like a threatening creature, so I can just pull it around if I need to. Okay, invocation's doing good. Axe is doing good. Fighting's doing good. Armor can go up a little. I'll bring the dodging up, see if it makes any difference. And I'll bring the shields up. To a point where I could use a tower shield if I found one. Uh, do I need max balls to pass the I don't think I do. Does that no like a vice electric charge in that book? I guess not. I do have a book for sale that has it, and I'm probably um, not going to pick it up until like super late if anything. I'm just sure that book with all the Maxwell's book, whatever it's called, Maxwell's Memorandum, used to have the vice electric charge. But I think a lot of the spells got switched around to which books they read fairly recently. So that's now like a book of movement and maybe another book as well. Oh, more flame mods. I should remember that the flame mods in here can make steam. It doesn't always work. Like sometimes there's uh, just awkwardly not enough water between you and the enemy or there's another creature in the way, but... Sometimes it can be very effective. Right, let's do this roll. So I want to find Silence, I want to find something else. Oh, Revelation's also good. I don't think I can outspeed this guy, can I? Uh, I guess I just keep on smacking it. There we go. Unfortunately, can't root them up in the situations like that either.
because of, of the water, and I don't believe uh, the roots works in water. There are some things that are surprisingly work in water, like nets are kind of weird. I mean, a net makes sense, but it's just funny that they float in the water and they're little net. Yeah, I'm bringing some of these dudes up. But I might just go down another staircase, because that was surrounded. Uh-oh. What does it take me? There's a good chance that this teleport was perfectly fine. Stu's gonna be annoying and do his whole like running away thing, so I might as well just hit it with the boomerangs. What's this still alive? Right, next scroll. We've got a. Ooh, scroll blinking. That's excellent. I think there's more identifiers all the way down here. Yeah, three more of them. Oh, then there's another stack as well. Okay, so we've got... I don't need to torment. My god doesn't approve of that. I'll do a potion because he's a bigger stack. So got some might. Excellent. And I might do another scroll. See what we've got. Got some silence. Excellent. Well, how many scrolls have we got left? I've got acquired brand butterflies and poison. I'm probably missing an acquirement. But I can actually find out which one I'm missing. I uh, don't need the brand. We'll see. Don't need those. Oh, butterflies good. I'll see what these are. So got poison. Got butterflies. Butterflies nice. And we've got... Oh, there is an acquirement, not a brand weapon. Uh, skills that are a good point. I think I'm just going to read this. See what, I, see what it is. Manual of stars, that's not that good. Or money. Well, that was kind of random. Yeah, that's the one where it uh, doesn't decide to give you stuff based on your skills. It just decides to give you stuff at random. Because I think with the skill weighting, it like, adds a little bit to all the skills before it weights by the skills. Um, so the ones you have zero of counts as, as if you had a little bit of the skill towards its waiting. Right, but anyway, could go identify invisibility. Oh, I need to remember about my Divine Vigor ability, because there's been a few uniques that I've fought where it probably would have made sense to put on a little bit of Divine Vigor, actually. Fragment with no tentacles is kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, one more level here. I have found no resist electric. Actually, I've got a lot of resist. No resist cold either. Yeah, I mean, definitely leaving the vault so last is a thing to do with those resists. Uh, I don't think there's a good chance of fighting those resists either, right? I mean, maybe I'd find some electric dragon armor or something and fix that one up. Maybe I'd find a ring of resist cold or something, because I, I do have, like, some extra ring slots that I could put that in. Ponderous armor. Hmm. It's probably not even that much more protective, because it's only chainmail. It's fairly, and, uh, fairly obvious what sort of shawls ending here I've got, because you've got all these little boxes. I feel like this is kind of a common ending, the one with the little boxes. Oh, Faith. Um, I'll keep it around, but I'm actually not doing too bad with my party right now. It would allow me to use my god abilities more, but I feel like my... Actually, what am I doing? I was doing regen, but I think I'm doing the flight one right now. Flight, fire, resist. Um, spirit guardian. What is that? Just a uh, morning star. It's not even that good. 
Even if it is a spectral one, though. I mean, if it was an evening star, it would be competitive with the sort of weapon I've got, but wouldn't make any sense to swap or anything. Gee, where is the rude one? Um... There, oh, there's one here. It could be that one. It doesn't look like the one I'm currently at because this doesn't have very tough creatures. And the rude ones tend to have, like, really tough creatures. Hey, that looks like it. Excellent. It's got enough, like, javelin ears in here. Let's start a little bit of emulation because I do have the fire resist at least. So let's get out the javelins. It's either that or using, like, a wand of light or something. But I think I'll do a javelin. Uh... All right, that was not too bad with the whole emulation blowing them up. I'm going to double check shields. I don't think these guys have had them. No, so there's still the fire resist ones, unfortunately. The resist that I've got the most of. Uh, right, down with the shoals. I'm going to swap some stuff, so I'm just going to Vault Zero and see if there's anything I'm going to swap. Probably want to go back to my region. Um, I might find a bigger shield in here. I'm kind of hoping I will. I'll leave the faith outside. I need the flame outside as well. Oh, right. Manuals. Let's go buy those. I should not forget these. In fact, I should get both of them. Uh, I should probably turn the acquirement into some money because now I actually need the money. And then I can... Book of Warp, Book of Movement, Potions of Resistance. I could grab the net, but... I think I'll leave those potions. I got tons of resistance potions right now. Uh... Yeah, that resist that of resist electric I'm kinda of worried about. Body's freezing good. I just take I think I think the door getting sealed is what shot me over there, but I'll just take it wasn't reflection. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't melt up too much. Of course it seals the door. Um I think I gotta emulate these dudes. Why are they gonna like melt even more? All right, well, that's fine, I guess. Uh, should I be wearing my reflection in here, actually? I might go give that one a try and say the regen, see how it goes. Because it will be better against the archers, and the extra shield value could be quite useful. Also, that hat is good, isn't it? It's plus one hat. So I should put that one on as well. I think that gets me all my items finally after all this time. Yeah, it's a little bit hard to find hats, but hey, a plus one hat is not bad. Gee, Spectrum's really good in here, because you get a lot of the, like, doorways like this, where you've got a couple of spaces near the doorway. So much for hitting the guys that I'm trying to hit. Um... Hey, I must got it because all the summons disappeared, and they don't usually all disappear at once. Otherwise, um, I just use the regular javelins. These are just bogarts. Whew. 
Ooh. Alba Corona, am I? A little bit. I might just do... I might actually do a Divine Vigor. Oh. Okay. Do a little bit of healing as well. Um... Ouch. Step back just a little bit. Okay, I'm down to like 70 health, which is fine, but it's a bit wounded. Does the root stack with what we've got going on here? I don't know. I don't think it does, actually. I think we have a tambourine. Maybe I should just run away, because that root is here to do a lot. Uh, I just fear these guys up. Uh, I'll do a little bit of self-healing. Nothing stopped me just running all the way back to the staircase, I don't think. And out of the situation. Um... I've already got like half my health back by the time I'm back here, but I might as well go all the way back. Right, plus two cloak. Uh, do I keep with my sound one or do I just try and go for like a bit more armor class? I gotta keep with my sound one. It's also sea invincible, which I don't have another source of anymore. And I haven't had another source of that for ages because I think I used to just have like a. Uh, I might emulate these guys. A basic something around that. I don't know. It's like basic regular sea invisible or something. About to explode. There we go. Should be able to survive the more explosions. I go to run the emulation though if I keep on finding groups like that I can't deal with normally. Uh, actually, let me go check on my rig. So I've got the willpower one, which makes sense. I got strength, right? Because my other choices aren't that good. There's like poison resist, which I don't really need that much in here. Oh, close the door on me. Of course it did. That Thunderhawk's really important to take out. Also, all three of these are going to, like, merge up into this one, I think. Um, Whatever. There's not much I can do about that. I've got to take out the Thunderhawk. Yeah, because they'll merge so long as say, the one they merge with gets them closer to me. And I think so long as there's not like another space that they can step into. Alright, that was level 1 done. I will go down again because I don't think I'm tough enough for the vaults with this character. <laughs> Uh, not the vaults, that's where I currently am. The depths, which is maybe my next spot to go, although. Hmm. I get a little bit of willpower, I might be able to do the Elven Halls. I do have a little bit of willpower. What's this? Mutation. I do have like a minus dex one, but I think I'm just gonna go with that one. It's not that bad. I think damage stepping back to here because they're not only one of these guys can fight me at a time. Also, these guys are doing serious damage to me. I'm going to do a little bit of healing, but I don't know. Sometimes the trolls just seem like seriously lethal, and then other times they don't seem to matter that much. I think it depends what kind of defenses you have because they got lots of attacks, so they can get through shields reasonably well. Oh, I guess is what's going on. I don't know. Or maybe I just don't have quite enough armor class. I've only got 25.
Think of which I will look at what sort of armor I have lying around because I got the fire in this one and I could go with another one if there is anything else decent looking here. Chainmail poison for this, okay. Glowing chainmail, sure. Shiny ice dragon scales. I mean, I could try and uh, don't think I can afford them, but I could try some shiny ice dragon scales or something because I can always put on the fire this cloak or something. I don't know. Ooh, so this guy that reflects back stuff. Can I... I hit him with an acid. Not reflects back stuff. It has a, the, the crystal spear-like thing that gives... Uh... Fragile when it hits you with it. Dodging made a difference. I might just get more just because I've got the manual on it. As soon as that manual wears off, it should be really soon. I'll stop it increasing. What's that guy shooting me with? I don't know. It's just an obelisk store. Yeah, it's just an obelisk. I always thought it was a triple crossbow or something for a second. It is worth being in this corridor, despite the spectral axe not being able to hit multiple guys, I think. Because it guarantees that I'm only fighting, like, one dude at a time. Ooh. Hey, the dude made himself fragile. With the whole reflection I've got going on, I guess I do have 20 shield values, but it's still far from guaranteed a reflection there. Can this guy turn me into something with a polymorph? He's got a 1% chance on a polymorph, so I don't think I need to worry about it too much. Maybe those crystal guardians are inaccurate or something, because they don't seem to be... getting through my shield so well. It's probably just luck. Right, next level, I guess. I don't run to Thunderhawk, but it's not much I can do if it runs away from me. Although that's fine, because I can just throw a javelin at it or something. I was going to have to be a javelin, so like some my spectral weapon. Was that a chant weapon? No, it was a brand weapon, I think. Uh, I've also got to identify... I've got a chant arm. I should go identify something. Just checking that I can't chant my weapon, but that doesn't look like it. Brilliance cancellation. Brilliance not useful for a long time. Oh, perfectly got 14 with the dodging using the manual. I think it started, oh, it might have started at like two points or something, but it doesn't usually get an even number. Uh, do I want more invocations? I do. I want like. 26 is too much. 21? 24? I guess I tell the manual wears off, basically. I'll just go with 24 and then watch out for the manual wearing off messages. That's a fine spot to drop down to. Nothing here looks terrible. Uh, even these guys being mighted is fine because they've got a corridor on my side. I think I do have revelations if I wanted to, but uh, this is not a bad spot on the level, so I'm just going to go explore where I am. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. I think it makes sense to back up to the corridor. In fact, I got javelins. These guys are a good spot for a few of those. Because I got shoals this game, I have a ton of javelins. <laughs> all the merfolk carry them around. 
Oh, it's mitered. Um, not actually what I want to see. Can I go pacify it? Yeah, but it's actually still rather close to me. This is a real quick because it's probably trying to go to that staircase. Oh, I don't know about this. I gotta try and uh, heal myself. There we go. It was trying to go to that staircase. It's always awkward when you pass by something and then just wants to uh, batch you up anyway. Um. <laughs> My head back upstairs. Do the levels in order. Can't solve this guy be mitered, can I? I don't think so. Oh, still a little bit of healing. Keep a very close eye on the health, because they can do... 55 damage while mitered. Forty-five damage. I might still heal myself up. Now nah, it's gotta get us recall off. Now nah, I'm running away. The other option was to like try and uh kill it before it did anything, but. Ooh, what's its damage at? Close twice for up to 45 damage each. Oh, that's scary. Um, I gotta grab a tab read it back for me. Uh, it's gonna die soon, but I'm just gonna kill myself up a little bit. And then I'll kill it with a uh, acid, I think. Ooh, didn't quite. Oh, I don't need wizardry. Let's drop that one. At least not right now tonight. Wait, did I actually drop something else? I think I just dropped the wizardry, right? No, I also dropped the charming. Oops, I think I might have fat fingered my keyboard there and accidentally dropped two, must have been letters next to each other, two letters next to each other or something. What's the chance of this guy marking me? 8%, let's see. Actually not bad given that I have had so little willpower for so much of this game. Alright, this guy's gonna hit me with a uh, crystal not crystal spear, it's iron shots or something. Um Ooh, it's staying way too healthy. I'm gonna put on some divide vigor. Oh, uh, what do I have left to identify? I might just be able to leave that magic experience. I, oh, I probably should bring it around. Let's drop the, drop the extra fire this ring. I don't think I'm going to use that one. Unfortunately, the only resist I do have is like fire resist. Let's see. Yeah, it is literally my only resist. I've got a slimy hand axe. An artifact greatsword. I don't need either of those ones. If I step back here, then my axe can take up that spot and stop the guys surrounding me. That actually kind of works. Uh, I'm going to try boomerang this guy. See if I can kill it that way. Oh, no. Never mind. Right, silver javelins, please, because there's a Thunder Hulk that looks quite dangerous.
And the paralysis that actually finally down to zero percent. Yeah, because I guess the gloves and willpower are doing a lot for me. Wait, another hand cannon of flaming? How many hand cannons do we have this game? Ah. We've got a draining one, a flaming one, a freezing one, and another flaming one. Wait, uh, is that what it's the duplicates? I, I guess that's all of them. Four of them is still a lot, though. Or, like, a game that's not even finished as well. Uh... Ooh, a tower shield, that's, what's my, that's something I want. My one's protection, my current shield, so I lose a little bit of armor class, but I still think it's worth getting all the way up to a tower shield. Okay. Uh, hey. Vacations to 22, I guess. This when the manual wore out. I think it's probably just things like shields and fighting that I need, nothing too special. Um... Wait, I have an enchant weapon. Let's go read the enchant weapon on the actual good weapon. And then grab... Where is it? So if I put this on, I gain... No, lose 3 AC and I gain 3 shield value? Well, 3.4. It's not a worthwhile trade-off yet, unfortunately. Because it's just a plus 0 town shield. Oh, well. Some of these large rocks. This vault is kind of a funny little one. It's actually a decent number of large rocks as well. Like, despite those just being one piles, if you're actually like a troll or something, it really does replenish your supply of large rocks. There's some strength, I think. Not a bad spot because I can keep the Thunder Hulk within a close range of me so it doesn't zap me. Wait, that's a fruit catch? I guess it is too. So. Uh, have done this protection. Let's see what I can drop. Might drop that Spirit Guardian, although it was good for a while. So uh, if I take my strength, I'm on 42 damage. I want to see how much damage I lose. It might not be worthwhile. 39. Um, I think that's worthwhile. Brings me out for 25 to 27 armor class. Yeah, I don't have a huge armor class, so I reckon it's worthwhile. Oh, Lightning Rod. I was going to go with the Tower Shield just yet, so I guess this is fine. Man, I really do need like some points of the magic or something. I think I do the Alvin Halls first, and then I go do the depths. Um, I can get some more sharp weapons up here. Probably max out my weapon if I do the Hall of Blades, which I think I probably would with this character. That was a lumpy green potion. That's probably a potion of uh, magic points. And that's a bad approach of magic. All right, but I should be able to drop the identifiers now to go pick it up. Yeah, well, the other option was a potion of experience, but that would be more rare. Um, let's get fighting up to 24. Shields up to 25, whatever. Stop double checking. I put the limit on it. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally stuff up my title, end up with a bad one just because I stuffed up a limit or something. I might not need to do all the blades. I'm already on like a plus eight weapon, but I reckon I do still do it. Uh, I gotta worry about these guys through ice school because they can do up to 60 damage and I don't have any cold resist. I, it's probably fine because I got a lot of health, but I gotta remember it's like almost like them shooting a crystal spear or something. 
Although Crystal Spear is mid league quite a bit more than that, I guess it's what, 102 max damage on a Crystal Spear? Oh, but the guys that do Crystal Spears are definitely less common. Ooh, these guys are going to shoot me in the back. Probably fine. Don't have resist negative. I might just do a little bit of heal self. Because my parties, basically, that's one thing I'm doing fine with. I should definitely be using my god abilities more. Oh, hey, it's a manifold assault already. Also, Cuba's armor and fugue of the fallen. My god's not gonna like fugue, definitely not, because it's an acromancy spell. But there's nothing stopping me from getting my uh, Manifold Assault going, apart from the fact that it's like 7th level, I'm wearing heavy armor, and uh, um, I have a minus 3 aptitude translocations. <laughs> but with how good my fighting aptitudes are, I'll probably eventually max out on my fighting um, skills, or get them close enough, and then be able to get into spellcasting anyway. It's not going to move up because it's going to bow. I guess I can move forwards. I'm not resistant to any of the electricity or anything here either. So that could do quite large amounts of damage, especially if it reflects off a wall or something. Which is reasonably hard to predict how electricity is going to reflect. Unless you're purposely like watching out for all of it and seeing how it reflects. But even then, it can be mildly hard to predict. I remember that from my, like, air elementalist characters trying to predict it with their starter shock spell. It can be quite difficult. This looks like the Hall of Blades, all the weapons outside. Yep, definitely the Hall of Blades. Uh, I hear a little. <laughs> and the shot of ice, like, perfectly cancel off the amount that I just healed. Oh, the door broke. It's like the translucent ones are kind of funny when they're broken. Not something you see every day. This is fine. What is this one? Heavy Holy Wrath. Okay. Step back a bit. I think the trident will get up to me, but that's fine. Let's try to get somewhere where I can rest up a little bit. I don't have my read yet anymore. I'm all about the reflection at the moment, so this is not perfect when I try to rest up in the somewhat dangerous corners. That's a big, uh, big evening star, heavy evening star. Heads for, uh, 57 damage, oh, yeah. That wasn't quite the one I was meant to do. I was trying to heal myself, but Divide Vigor is also probably something I should have put on. In fact, I might do a teleport. Hey, it actually got me out of the hole of blades. What's the chance of that happening? <laughs> anyway, let's pull these guys back. I guess we do have a reasonable size here outside the Hall of Blades this time round, but usually you just get put straight back into Hall of Blades. Though I figured I had like enough of the Hall of Blades explored that it would be alright. Even with that silent on, I think I the lighting is still trying to get a decent number of guys there. Um But I don't get completely swarmed as soon as one of those air majors decides to do its electricity. 
What do I want to throw? Probably some boomerangs. Ooh. It's doing no damage. I'll try acid wand. Uh, I'll try some spiders. I'm just going to do another acid wand. And I think we're good. I can go fully and charm my weapon here, bringing it up to a plus nine. It would actually be nice to have another broad eggs going, because then I could um, have one of them as like Holy Wrath and one as Spectral, but I probably won't find enough um, charm weapons for that. I've only got like one remaining, and I don't even actually know if I've got another broad eggs. I probably do by now, honestly. Oh, I should search for broad eggs. That's way too much stuff. I do have another one, plus zero. And I need to get a like plus seven if I'm gonna try and get a holy wrath. Uh... I haven't seen the tough elf area yet, but I gotta keep a very careful eye out for it. That could be the tough elves so that wall around there, but I don't see any elves to back that up being the tough elf area. How do I get to that haste? There's got to be some way to that haste. I've got 10 haste. Let's look at my resources. I got like a five resistance was pretty good. Four mutations, not so good. 10 haste is great. Got lots of teleports, like 12. 5 blinking is fine. Got a butterflies. Yeah, it looks like my consumables are doing fine. Actually, how am I with lignification and stuff? Uh, 6 lignification, 9 traction. Okay, those are doing fine as well. Checking my resource levels. Because sometimes that can be a problem with like, going to extend and you're just kind of getting really low on your resources. No, oh, this character is seeming pretty good. Ooh, ring chops, nice. So we've got AC strength decks, uh, five strength four decks. That's actually better than what I'm wearing. Any big resist ones? Come on. Oh, death delays, man. Sure. Oh, I think I'll just stick with good gods this time round. That's the plan, because then I get like some piety back when I switch back to this god. Oh, it's fucking annihilations. If you want all the nice of the spells. Okay, I'll just grab the ring we've got here though. Uh Gotta add the willpower on here, right? But instead of protection, I can put on those protection strength dex one. I think you got a little bit of evasion out of that. Oh, please tell me that trap, uh, love trap area is not the tough elves. No, I think these are. At least I can certainly hope that these are. Um. Ooh, something's got an artifact. It's got a Morning Star of Traps, which is a flaming one. And it's got a Leather Armor of Resist Electric. Unfortunately, Leather's too light for me. Okay, I want to check these items again. I don't think they're... No, they don't make any sense. Although that Ring of Ice, maybe, should have on me. I didn't get a natural resist corrosion from anywhere. Let's see if any of these things can be dropped. I've got a... I don't need the brilliance right now. I'll probably have to come back for it, but yeah. I wonder if it would be better to take the other... 
No, it probably just makes sense to blow things into here. This one actually is a decent way to get them nice and close. Ooh, something's got a ring of humorous generosity. Resist electric, resist poison, AC end. That's nice. I want that. I think I need both those resists, so... Yeah, no, this is pretty bad for bringing things in close. And the door's used up now. Alright, but I want that ring, so I can draw a poison resist ring temperately. Uh... Oh, willpower. At <laughs> some stage would be nice. You know, I might actually swap out the willpower. Leaves me kind of short, but I'm gonna hope I don't get banished. I probably, the thing is, I'm probably fine if I do get banished, so this makes me considerably tougher. I like some more AC and stuff. All right. This one's got a ring of willpower 7 strength. Oh, maybe I should go back to some willpower. <laughs> oh, nice ring again. All right, I mean, the helmet horn's been so worthwhile to try to uh, drop. Do I have a strength I'm carrying around? Not a basic one. I do have a basic uh, defense one there. Wait. I dropped that willpower one. So, I guess I lose the strength AC. I kind of gain a couple of strengths. I lose the dex and I lose the AC. Yeah, it's probably worth it in here. Back up to 46 damage. Oh, hey, it's a hat. Plus three hat of something. I can't tell because the chat's over it. Uh, that allows you to go invisible. Still better than my hat. I do so this fire good. Oh, so bloodless necklace on which one of these guys? Uh okay, the mage, that's fine. <laughs> Pretty sure it does nothing on that guy, basically. Oh, it does have a big sword. But still, I think going berserk is makes it weaker. So I don't want to go berserk, so I don't want this amulet. If I was immune to go berserk, that would be really nice, because I do want six slag, but no, I don't think it's worth just randomly berserking up. Uh put on the divine vigor. Really? Distortion? This goes for the silver javelins. Come on, some of these got ahead eventually. Oh, not quite. I got more javelins though. There we go. Goodbye, Wiglaf. I want his hat. Um, I don't know if I got the inventory space. Let me try. Hey, I got it. Excellent. Hat on the other side. Other side of what? Other side of uh, having good defenses versus bad defenses. I think. Looks kind of cool too. Uh, positive energy plate armor. Let's see, it's better enchanted than mine. It's like more AC, three more AC or something. I think. Better might quickly go look at all the kinds of plate I've got. All the good ones are like positive energy. Um. I could go back to the amulet of um the what the fire just whatever this one. Oh, there's also more plate armor here, so I might not have to worry about the choice. It's plus two plate armor minus teleport. Okay, never mind. Plus one plate armor fire just. I mean one free um armor class. It's probably worth keeping with this one. Instead of going for the pause vent, you want for a little bit of armor class. Alright, what else have we got? We've got a staff that I'm not allowed to use because it's necromancy. Look at poison resistance. I got poison resistance now, so. Not a big deal. Good old animate armor. <laughs> animate armor is not usually that useful. 
Yeah, you need, like, a very specific character to kind of make use of it. Like, a heavy armored character. I mean, Mountain Draws are great with it. All right, let's go to Depths. I'll probably find better armor than the Depths, like some gold dragon armor or something. That's fine, I think. I do have the Resist Electric now, which is great. Got the Resist points. I think I'm missing Cold Resist still. So I might swap off the Willpower. I lose a little bit of damage, but it's worth having the extra AC and stuff. Because the first guy I see is a guy with like 8% chance of banishment after I swap onto my willpower, but I think that's an okay amount of willpower, even if not optimal. Got so much enchant armor, like uh, seven. As soon as I get gold dragon armor, it's gonna be really protective compared with my plus one blade armor, at least. I'll just stay out in the open, because. Doing fairly well with the axe there. Oh. I gotta put the willpower back on. These guys got 7% chance of paralyzing me. That's fine. I might do a little bit of... No, wait. I keep on fighting. Then I'll do a little bit of... Hold on. It's not even next to me. So I think I did the did the wrong one again. I did the the other one that gets me hit points. I don't allowed to use anything in this shop. What is it? A man bud's blood bar? Oh, with all the vampires outside it? Right. They all want to summon the blood. Oops, I need to be... Oh, I'm so close to getting next to the guy. Let's reduce these numbers a bit. There we go. Yeah, I think that was the thing to do. Because I had an axe. A spectral one even, so... A lot of damage to things around me. Uh... I don't think I can take out the distortion game before it gets to me. We'll see. Does they have a pull up, which makes it even more difficult? Oh, hey, it did. I don't like how many simulacrums they're going to get here, but I don't think there's too much you can do about that. Just I don't have the cold resistor or anything right now. What is that, Axe? It's probably not worthwhile. It's plus four, though. I can bring it up to plus five with the enchant weapon I have. Not quite. If I find two more enchant weapons, I can have a separate holy one and a uh, spectral one. So I should look into a shield again, see if it makes sense to go to a tower shield. Um, actually, no, I haven't even... Have I trained my shield skill? I am training my shield skill. Well, I think once that reaches the uh, limit, which is like 25, then it's actually it's probably worth swapping right now, honestly. Let's go do it. Oh, of course I can't carry it. Um, I can drop the... Random log sword that I'm carrying around. <laughs> That'll do. Let's put it on. So actually, let's examine it first. Oh, huh? that's not it. That's capital. So I gain four shield value, lose three AC. I mean, it's probably worth the slight penalty and attack delay. Which won't be much because I've got 20 skill and I've got 30 uh, strength. Both reduce. So once you get to 27 skill, it goes down to zero uh, penalty as well, I think. Which I'm not going to get there in a hurry. I'll get to like 26 and then just sit there, I think, with this character because... I want to go for a god title. I've definitely already had a Minotaur Axe title.
shapeshifter. Even said it's a shapeshifter. Oh, do I have a polymorph? I dropped it, didn't I? I just kind of hope it's good to change that guy out of an eye. Ooh. I just heal a little. It's the, it's the frost giant, I think, was hitting me or something. Actually, you know, it might be the ugly thing as well, just uh, doing enough damage to kind of do damage to me, I guess. Like, get enough where kind of my armor doesn't matter quite as much. Right, where's the way down? I don't need to take those portals, they just lead around in a circle. Oh, coins being counted. I got a got a revelation. They got five of those, so I might just go find out where the shop is. Oh, so many portals, of course, because this is a dab. Some um, portal there? 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 Down there. I don't know how, how far away it is, but I think it might be the one up here. Judging by the surrounding terrain. Is that a shapeshifter slowing me down? Oh, hey, Frederick. Um. Huh. Might do a divine vigor. Am I saw the teleport? I didn't quite get to see if that was the right one. Not fragile, remarkably. Very distant after I teleported or before I teleported? Because it kind of matters. I think it might have been after I teleported, so I think I might have been at the right spot. Uh, but I might still take this one out. Yeah, okay, it's not this one. It's told me it was very distant again. I mean, they're going to have to go here, and hopefully there isn't the top of snail shaped it, although I think it turned to an eyeball and got killed. Oh no, it might be the shark. Oh, that was the abyss? Oh, okay. I see. The leches, unfortunately, also have cold damage that they can do. I heal myself a little bit. Before that guy, like, drains away magic points right it's distant, but I gotta heal. Although, unfortunately, I don't think I've got my healing stuff on right now. Uh, like my regen amulet or any other source of regen. For that matter. Ooh, Ooh, those are like crystal spears and stuff. Wait, are those all? No, it's obviously a cold, thankfully, but still. Uh, I think I moved this way. I'm fragile right now. Um, hmm, I see. I think I keep moving down. Uh, Spark Wasp is a bit of a worry, though. How's the inventory? I think I just lost Fragile. I'm kind of out of inventory. But I'm just going to go in here to heal up. Also because it's about to time out. So let's see if I can buy anything. Oh, I can. Heal wounds. Might. Lignification. I'll get the trash. I don't know if I'll end up needing it. Oh, haste is good. I should maybe check out some of these other shops as well. So we've got a weapon shop trying to sell me heavy broad axe. Plus one. Nah. Not two hundred is a heavy one. Oh, I can't afford the gog. Oh, it's probably fine, but it might have been nice to have those 11 shield value, but I lose 5. Oh, 12 shield value, but I lose 5 evasion. Hmm. Oh, well. I think I got a money source of me. That's, uh, yeah, if I'd have looked, I think it's a different order I could have bought that, but it probably wouldn't have made any sense to get the gog, honestly. Although being quiet with a gog might be nice. I don't know. Oh, well. I, I think it probably made more sense to get potions, but it was almost exactly what I needed. Uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's 
got 130 health. Actually, I'm a little bit lower now. It could do up to 75, I think, cold damage. Can't wait to find the gold dragon armor so I'm no longer vulnerable to the gold, basically. Or not resistant. So it's just strength resist negative. If I have a resist negative on me, which I don't, it would make sense to use that. I don't know. Right, it's the Crystal Spear book. If I need to, I can read a sense on it. Uh, how many do I have? I've got two. I might read one. It basically makes it completely useless because it can't cast its spells anymore. But if it's already got its spells out, then its spells can still do things. So you've got to be so a bit careful when you put out the silence of those books. So basic old protection ring. I'm pretty sure both of my rings have got like protection on them because my ring's actually pretty good. All right, Frederick, what do I have that's good against them? I'll start with the Divine Vigor. Uh, do I just throw some like boomerangs at him until he gets closer? I think I do. Is that a great... Oh, wait, hold on. He's not poison resist, right? Oh, he is. Sure. He's got some armor of poison resist. Hey, he's gone. Excellent. He wasn't too bad. I don't think I've had many characters killed by him, but he still can do very bursty damage. Where are the gold dragons? This is like the last level of depths here. I mean, I know they're often on the last level, but it's always a worry when you don't see your gold dragons. I mean, alternatively, Pardew would also work, but he's unlikely. Um, what can I drop? I might drop that resist negative ring. Hopefully I don't end up needing it or something. Uh, spear, lots of resists, but unfortunately just a spear, like a basic spear. Hey, gold dragon. That's with a friend, but that's probably fine. She comes with a number of friends. Uh, please give me armor. I don't think it did that time round. It didn't give me a message about it, but hey, it's the first first chance of the golden dragon. Armor. Um, uh, There's likely still going to be more golden dragons here. Uh, ooh, I don't like how many of these guys could do like shards of ice and stuff. Might, uh, I don't know. Well, if it made sense to put on a ring of ice, I'd lose some stuff to put it on. Let's get out the silver javelins, I think. Because at least this shield shouldn't be very good against the javelins. Excellent. Uh... Hmm. 
I mean, I guess if it's the spell, if it's pushing me away from there, I might as well just stand back and let it come to me. Because it gets me away from all these other guys. Uh, uh oh, this is running me out of places to go. What I do here, I might just heal up a little bit and then just keep on fighting this guy. Yeah, no more gold dragons. It was just the one chance at it. But another spot that can have gold dragons is Vault 5, which I think I'm about to go do. Uh, wait, I want a better staircase. Like this escape hatch right here. Uh, I also want the regen on because it's often hard to try and regen up in here without creatures coming along. Yeah, that's probably fine with the inventory. Let's just drink uh, might and go down. This doesn't look too bad. Cloak of Acid Resist? I've still got the... Hmm, that's actually not a terrible thing. I don't know what I can drop at this point. Not a lot. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, whatever. Something I could put on, because I know if the... Like, when I do the slide bits or something, it could be worthwhile. The size is definitely good in here, because it's going to make it so I don't get swamped quite as much. Uh, this is fine. I'll just move. There we go. Move up to all these guys. That's an amulet of air, isn't it? Yeah, no, so it goes repel missiles, fly, and enhances your air, but it gives you an accuracy. Of course, the resist electric on it as well. So it's got quite a few things, but the inaccuracy doesn't help. But like, some repel missiles, not bad. No, I don't think I'd go with it, but I have had that on a melee character before, and it was actually not terrible despite the inaccuracy. Wait, if I ever go with the shining one, that could be worth putting on, actually, because uh, at the end, accuracy is kind of like losing or shining or sort of. Uh... Oh, that's the center of the map. I should get too close. So this is actually kind of a nice little choke point, so... Whatever creatures want to come back and fight me here, I'm happy with. I don't like how they're, like, uh, spectral up, but it's still fine. Good, it's got a nice little silver javelin. Two more silver javelins for me. How's my tile going? I think I got the shield one, the hoplite one, yeah. Although my fighting and shields are basically at exactly the same level, so I could basically have either of the titles to spending which skill goes up first, which was the shields there. Come on, give me some gold dragons. Gold dragons, please. I don't know if I... I don't have any crystal blade, do I? Because that would also work as some armor. Uh, corrupt, that's not quite the same as some crystal blade armor. I think crystal blade armor is like even more rare than gold dragon armor. Because you don't get any enemies that wear it or anything. No, there's like some lucky ice caves and stuff that have it, but... There really isn't a lot that has it. So what rings am I wearing right now? Alright, let's look correct. Oh, that's a ball of coal, wasn't it? Uh, that is a dread lich, okay. 
Not a divine figure, but I actually think I should probably teleport. There we go. Well, that's just way too much stuff coming along. I'm hoping those creatures split up so I don't have the Reva next to the Dread Lich. Oh, copy with the mark. I'll use one of my five cancellations. It'll be fine. <laughs> Although a number of these things will still get attracted, but I think it's going to be fine. Be terrible if I tried to like another guy along that can mic me and I just get mic'd again. Oh, well, speaking of which, I guess it's fine. I'm just gonna divine bigger up. Ugh, actually, maybe not. I'll teleport out. Shields on 25. Fighting is doing well. Bring axes up to 20. I'll bring... Bring invocations up to like 24. I'll just like edge these up just a little bit. <sighs> teleport out again. I'm just kind of trying to do the same green. Just go with the marks gone. So when I teleport out... I should be able to rest up properly. <laughs> Wait, there was an artifact here? There was all oh, the scale mail. Not even a high bonus, it's just like plus zero scale mail with some resist on it. Uh, what's the plan with the lich? I might run away. Just give it time for my health to come back and for its summon to disappear and stuff. I think going down the center of the level isn't too much of a problem because I kind of... I don't know, I've kind of explored a decent amount of this already. I guess there's sort of half of it left, maybe. But with the way that I had like the alarm go off and tried things, it's... Well, oh, these boots are actually better than my boots. They create just the kind of odd uh, round the sand for anymore. I didn't care about that long sword. Can't wear the helmets. Alright. Not that a helmet, like a basic one, would be more protective than what I got, because I got three armor class anyway off my hat. There we go, okay. I don't think there was anything good on the ground. There was definitely no gold dragon armor, which is very disappointing. Um, oh, this plus two plate armor fire resist. And these boots are flying. How much do I want some flight? Because if I lost like one armor class, I could get some flight or whatever. It's probably not worth it in general, but there might be some places where it's worth it. My armor's plus one, right? Yeah, so I get some plus two plate armor. Uh, no, I'm kind of just tempted to go with these boots because it's so much simpler. Um, than worrying about other ways of getting flight. Although, to be fair, the amulet does have flight anyway. I don't. Mm. I have three runes. I might head into Zot. Ah, uh, questionable resist heading into Zot, but I guess I will. Maybe there'll be some gold dragons in here for me, or maybe even Pajit. Okay, going Berserk is fine, I think. Oh, maybe not. Um, put on Divine Vigor. Ooh, it didn't help. Ah, I've got a choice. I might do the Butterflies. Let's try to get a bit of health back. Well, 
Okay, I guess I'm out of here. Wait, how's my willpower? Why is it down a bit? Guess I took off a willpower right, I'm sure, because I... I took off one of the rings that I had for a while, but I don't know. Yeah, it's turning into wolf spiders, which is fine. Turning into formless jellyfish are a bit worse, because they like to uh, constrict you up and stuff. Yeah, they're definitely a lot worse. I'll put on Divine Vigor. Um... I didn't pull that guy away from me. I'm not sure why. Either way, that still gets me out of there, I think. That's why the grabbed Amber is such a good item. Can't get you out of some bad situations. Uh -huh. Yeah, damnation, but it should be fine. It got 230 health or something. Fire drinks, that doesn't resist a god, but I'm gonna get so much contamination off this dude. Another one of these guys. Uh, bringing the edits can be reasonably tough when they're tasted up. Although, wait, do those ones not have weapons? If they don't have weapons, I guess they're not too bad. And they're because they were like way everything on their weapons for their damage, I think. Um, but they usually have like giant spike clubs or whatever it is. Oh, I don't want that Moth of Wrath in view. And the resist electric's what I've got. The resist poison's also what I got. Those are kind of the ones you really need here. That whole oh, that dragon group is like, I might have to, I think I'm going to lignify up, but it's not great. So that means I lose some of my defenses. I'll probably lose uh, lignification anyway. Like this guy. Oh, maybe not. Uh, usually it hits you with like a quick silver bolt. I might have enough uh, charred weapons to go make myself a Holy Wrath one when I go with the Shining one, which I think is what I'm going to go through extended with. Uh, like a separate uh, Shining Holy Wrath weapon that I've got for my Spectral one. Hey, Gold Dragon! Come on, Gold Dragon! Hey, look at that! Gold Dragon armor. That's exactly what I want to see. Okay, what can I drop? Um, I think I can drop the Ring of Ice now because I got a Gold Dragon armor. And let's go upstairs. Oh, <laughs> and shovel this one on, I think. So, I've currently got 35 armor class, 13 evasion. 37 armor class, 11 evasion. So, that's about the same. I got another like, extra cold resist and I can charge it up. There we go, 40 something armor class, that's an improvement. Uh, what's my other poison resist? It was the uh, resist electric one, right? So, unless I'm swapping that ring out and putting on this um, amulet, which I might do eventually. I don't know. It makes sense, okay. I just gotta take the shadow drink chance of hitting. Actually, it's really hard to... About 80% chance of that, 79%. Hmm. It's really hard to like compare with or without them because they're so slow to swap. Anyway, this first level is not done, but the Zod, the Zod suddenly got a whole lot more doable now. I still got to be careful, but like at least got armor class and cold resist. I, get rid of, I don't know if it made sense to get rid of that slow, but hey. 
I can. Hell, those resistors. Resist negative is missing, and resist corrosion. And I could get the resist corrosion if I give out my silence. Um. Right, uh, I don't care about scale mail. Hey, another gold dragon. Let's see if this one has any armor. Nope, not this time round. Well, that's fine. Right, I don't think even Pajin would give me something I need at this point. Um, I'm just gonna max out invocations. Because I want an invocations title, so... <laughs> might as well make sure that I don't stuff up my title. These look fine. I mean, that'll, uh, the quick throw ones do a bit more damage because uh, you never get the resistance to uh, Quicksilver. I don't think even Quicksilver Dragon Armor gives resistance to Quicksilver. It's just a very hard thing to resist. Dude, that's a net. Am I going down another staircase because I was about to get constricted there? I was like trying to get something next to me that wasn't the uh, tentacle monstrosity, but it didn't really happen. Hey, another gold dragon. Yeah, I guess I. Uh... And it's even got armor. I guess Zod is a pretty good source of those as well. It's not just, uh... Debs. Although I'm kind of scared of, like, not fighting. Because I've had a character that's gone through, like, Zod, Debs, uh... Zod, uh, what is it? False 5. Gone through all of them and not found the gold dragon armor before. Has that guy got nets again? Might do some Divine Vigor. Prizes are maybe no, I don't think it actually uses nets. That surprises me. Uh, what's my amulet right now? It's the regen one, All right? How am I going with teleports? It goes to 13. So <laughs> there's a good chance I won't have to do two of the. Uh, the way where you go through the walls, there's a good chance to be able to do it the teleport way. Oh, that's a lot of cane tots. What how many creatures it brings out? Because sometimes it doesn't feel like as many creatures. Oh, Phoebe. Mm. I think this is as good as I can get with resists. Oh, Divine Vigor, where is she? Can't she fly? Or did she just stop herself getting to me? I mean, she still does her elemental stuff, right? She, in fact, does not fly. Oh, weird. It will go down, but that's really funny. Vivi just be like, nope, I don't want to get you anymore. There we go. She should move up. Oh, another gold dragon. Nice. And it even has armor, I feel like my chance of getting armor being been uh, better than expected on that one. It's been around 50 or so. I think it's meant to be around the third or something. I know it's not a great chance. Oh, that draconian must be invisible because its own friend bashed it up with acid. Really? Really? Okay, I'm gonna ignore that arrow behind whatever's behind that trap because this is all trap. I'm not standing on that. I, I, you could dig, but how many of those do I have? Four, it's not worth it. And this probably leads to whatever's behind the trap anyway. Might do a little self-healing. That's the quick self, it's kind of hurting. It's 
Like a random Z auto. Oh, it's shiny one auto. Leave it an offer. Oh, also, let's offer a prayer. I mean, that's probably the altar I'll take when I go swap gods or something. It doesn't really matter which altar I take, because it's not like you're going to be under any wrath or anything. Go from a good god to a good god. Uh, this is still fine. i got to kill the guy with the dragon, though, before it does too much. Um... We have behind here. It almost looks like you just have an orb of destruction just trapped behind the door. Because the funny thing is, the orbs of destruction, they can't open doors. It's always funny. Um, I might actually put on some divine vigor. Purifying Minotaur. That's like the title that I'm eventually going for, I think. It's just. Not going to be easy to get, considering I'm going to change gods and then change back. Oh, I could just Lignify. How many have I got? 12? Yeah, definitely just gonna Lignify. Huh. Um. Right. I actually fog up and run away because... If I lose my armor by drinking a lignification, I also lose my fire and cold resist. <laughs> I was always going to turn to ice dragons. I think that's fine. Oh, ah, it's a staircase. I'm going to have to go down the same spot. Uh, didn't get rid of constriction when I did the purification, did it? No, it didn't. Let's try go up. Hopefully that wouldn't cost me like butterflies, and it did not. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I need to fully heal before I go down. Hey, that gold dragon has a gold dragon armor as well. Sure. Uh, what do I do against all the fire? Hold up. I don't have any extra fire resist rigs. I might put on a little bit of might. Oh, I should probably, uh, Divine Vigor as well. There we go. That did save me from having to use either a haste or resistance potion. And for some reason, my mutations survived exactly as they were, which is great, because I think I've lowered the mutation bonus. actually about to 9, which is not as low as I was. I was sitting on 4 for a long time. Uh, Gold Dragon had no armor. That's what you'd expect. I'll go down to the last level, I won't fully do it. Uh, let's do... Yeah, I'll do a revelations. Figure out what my trap layout's like. And that's the thing. Zod trap. Oh, an awkward net trap and a lamp trap. And also some awkward Zod traps. But you can walk through that way without going on Zod trap. It's probably the side I'm going to have to go with. It's a little bit awkward with the traps. So it's definitely a good thing I'm going to leave this all later on. <laughs> Come back when I've got 15 runes. How's it? Oh, there's a berserk guy in there. Definitely looks like the sort of thing that would get uh, use of consumables otherwise. <laughs> Not the right thing. I need my... There it is. Javelin. I'm 
I have divine vigor up. Uh, good. If case is master, what else do I need? Um, I might master out of the shields as well. Two hundred something health. Okay, I'm actually not too bad with my health. Thanks to the divine vigor. Um. I don't think the Divine Vigor can be dispelled either, thankfully. Oh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just pretty sure. A lot of the God abilities can't. Right, so I'm done with uh, Zod. Well, half of Zod of the last level. Now I can go to... I think I might go Shining One up and then go to the Crypt. Um... Alright, swap gods. I shouldn't have anything that Shining One disapproves of, because uh, Leveler would disapprove of much the same stuff. I was going to swap some stuff around, so I was actually going to put on the Amulet of the Air, and then I was going to put on a ring of, like, some strength and willpower. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, it gives me one of every resist, so sure. And a bit, bit more willpower, let's try that for a while, see how that goes. Oh. It's like going to Zod 5 or something. Um, well, false 5, I mean. I think this is fine, though. Uh, bit of fly, that's fine. Except it's a bit harder to get rid of when I can't even see the guy that put it on me to start with. Um, I'm going to put on Divide Geo before I go down. Just in case. Is there anyone around the outside here? I don't think so. It's making sure. Alright. See some elephants. Oh, I got slowed. Uh, I think this is still fine. I'm going to have to find shield just in case. Uh... But a fire this Madri is not too bad. I don't care about a fire dragon armor or anything either. This is probably the craziest crypt entrance I've seen in a long time. That's a dude with a sasha in this. Um Which is maybe a bit of a problem, because that could take you off the staircase there. Right, I finally get to get, get rid of the guy that's flying me up every time I go downstairs. Um, I don't think there's many guys left here, though, so... Oh, the health and didn't follow. It must have blinked away. They do that, though. They blink all over the place. Excellent. So, uh, I, should, I actually should go get myself another axe, uh, broad axe. I should search for specifically for a broad axe. Plus four, is that it? That's the one, I think. Uh, I don't even know if I got the inventory where to picked it up. Oh, I do, apparently. And then I need the enchant weapon to get it to plus seven. So, I've got one in Zot. Yeah, let's go get it. All right, we got one in Zod as well. And we've got one in False 5. That one will do. Excellent, and now I can go back to the crypt. Oh, I'm already up to five person party because I think I started at three or something. So I might want that apportation. I'm not sure. I'll, oh, probably can't cast it, but I'll go grab it. Oh, 96% failure? Wait. Do technically have like a little bit of spell casting, but I don't really have any skill in any of the relevant things.
I should have all the resist negative I could ever need by now, right? Yeah. No, it's only got two. I guess I still got uh, one more pip of piety, right? Actually, I might cleansing flame this guy. It's really good against those cursed girls, and I've maxed out my invocations, so I'm gonna do basically max damage with that cleansing flame. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Now I can go brand up this axe. Choose it wisely, I'll try. I mean, if uh, killing demons and undead when it counts as wise, then I'll use it very wisely. Uh... Right, Master Shield, so I might as well just get fighting and I'll bring axes up to like 24 or something. Actually, you know what I need? I need armor. Because I have like a gold dragon armor on at the moment, so it actually scales pretty well with the armor skill. It's probably like an altar to one of the evil gods here. No, maybe not. Huh, that's usually what there is in that area that I guess because there's the crypt, sometimes you just get the rooms with undead. But that's usually what you have behind some of those. How good am I hitting something like this? Like 77%, right. Just worried whether like the ammo of the air even makes sense or not. That's repel missiles, which is fancy. <laughs> not sure how useful it is, but I mean, there's still a good chance of hitting. I just don't try how much to lose me and how damage. Because I do actually gain uh, more strength by having it on because I get to put on my strength willpower ring. Go back to the staircase and just let, let as many things come along as they like. Um, good. The zero percent of paralysis. Sorry. Yeah, I think the willpower ring is kind of the right one to have on because it gets all the paralysis and stuff down to zero percent. Oh, what's that? I just stood on chain mail of fire resist. Artifact one, well, but I think it was plus zero. Oh, hey, Menace, what's he got? He's definitely got a shield that didn't mention there. Plus zero shield, he's got a Trishilla, which is a pole arm. He should be fine, but he does do the silence, so I might just pull him back around this corner. Um, I want to hit him with a bit of acid, though. It doesn't feel right fighting a fellow good god worshipper, but hey. He's the one that wanted to fight. I would have been happy to let him uh, be on his way. I do have the... I could go straight into the tomb, but I don't think I should. Also, I might put on Divine Shield, so this guy's Crystal Sphere doesn't do anything. I don't know, it could be fun doing the tomb next. Um, God, like, all the skills I need for it. Would it be silly to... Uh, I don't think it would actually not be too silly to do the tomb next. I don't think I might do it. Because, <laughs> like, the skills are pretty good. Huh. Although... It wouldn't let me really know whether I'm going to have, whether I should use the teleports or not. Because I might need the teleports and pandemonium is what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, I should close the door. I don't know, I could actually open the door, so it wasn't the most effective way of pulling it next to me. Hey, this course will play now. I'm afraid I already got good armor. Whoa, what's that? Read it, magic regen, cold resist, two strength. I mean, it's minus um, stealth, but that doesn't matter. I'm definitely putting that one on. But that does mean that going back to, uh, where is it? The spring. Which means I'm short of willpower again, doesn't it? Or I could take off. 
Oh, I'm take off the AC. I want to get my willpower back. So I should definitely keep that one around for like purposes of my decks getting drained and held and stuff. All right, so I'm done with the corrupt. I'm not even max level yet, <laughs> apparently. Uh, here's another fire resist ring on me, I think, when I go into pandemonium. Uh, I think I can probably drop the berserk. Do I have any sounds left? Because I can probably drop that. So, ooh, that looks worth getting. Oh, that was the Zod Trap one. Never mind about that one. <laughs> that one's just, yeah, you get like some more mutated and stuff with that one. Oh, uh, wait, no, Chart Whiff, never mind. Uh, I don't need the Charm either. Right. Where is that ring of resist fire? There's got to be one in here somewhere there. It is, because I... Oh, that's not it. I know because I saw one earlier. Like, I was carrying one around for a while. I don't think it was that one, but maybe it was. Um, there was some reason I wasn't going to do turn first. I, oh, right. Uh, teleport scrolls. So I was just going to do uh, pandemonium then tomb, I think. I got everything that I need was... Uh, Items. Probably. Let's go in. I've got the region, which is also nice to have in here. Uh, next region, I guess. I don't think they would add a rune. Hey, there we go. Demonic rune. I recognize this one. This is like, yeah, let's see. I see one with a whole row of statues. Um... I was trying to like hide there, but it wasn't quite working. Less in control by magic. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't mean I can't do the airport at all now. But it wasn't really there anyway. Oh right, don't have the flight oh with my current items. Oh well. Wait, I should check what the Pandemonium Lord does. It does Blink Bolt, that's fine. Oh, I put Ruin on me, which, uh... Oh, it's probably fine. But it'll probably get me slowed eventually. Gotta be blinded. Man, this guy's been annoying with his blink bolt, but anyway, I got rid of it eventually. Uh, of course, that guy just goes straight through. So I got... I don't think that affected my mutations, honestly. Those look the same as before. The spells are more powerful, but harder to cast than the minus two decks. Oh, wait, next level already. Finding a ton of gateways out. That's like my second one already. Cancellation is good. Anyway, next level. Is my cleansing flame not that noisy with my current cloak on? I think the answer to that might be a yes. Uh, oh, it still fills up like half my noise bar or something, but it's not quite as ridiculous as it can be. Uh, oh, glowing rune. I don't like this one early on because this was one that gets you all the mal mutations. Which means you had to go through a lot of the hell with all the mal mutations or use the uh, curing to cure them up early. All the uh, cure mutations, I mean. Uh, Oh, my willpower stripped. Okay. Got the angel to, like, protect me from my mutation. They can do a decent job at that.
I'm more certainly still going to get mal mutated, but hey, it's sometimes useful. Even if it's just from this contamination that I get mal mutated. Ugh. Oh. Well, hey, Mioglano, I might put on Divine Shield. Um. I get out like an angel, but it's gonna have a hard time getting up anyway. Good, Meoglottal's blind. That's what I like to see. Then I can put a more cleansing flame. Hey, did they die or? I think they died instead of hiding around the corner or something. I like how my decks are seven right now. I mean, it's fine, but I guess I'm resetting before hell anyway, so it's probably fine. I want more armor. I want more fighting. I want more axes. Let's get those all maxed out, I think. Well, that region wasn't too bad. I guess I'll see how many more mild mutations I take on the way out, though. Now it's time to get out, though. So I don't need the helmet because I'm Minotaur. I'm still headbutting people quite effectively, actually, I think. Man, that ruin can definitely add up. What's this guy even used to do? I can't even remember. I know it wasn't quite as bad as the ruin. It wasn't, uh, they might have just spelled the dead, or that might be a different one. Not that it matters to this character, because I am not going undead as a Shining One worshipper. I shouldn't let that go recall, I should just cleanse it, there we go. My barbed blind ruined. Sure. Well, I think that guy's pulling me in. Do I get more decks? I might get more decks. I know it's probably going to get reset with a mutation getting reset, but I just want to have it like a bit further away from zero. It also helps a bit with my shield, but that's not the main reason for getting it. Ooh, magical rune. Okay. Um, I want cold. No, yeah, one cold is a short. It's fine. I'll probably just drink a potion of resistance. Uh, the main problem is more like lack of like buys and stuff. I can use javelins. Um, might have to. Have my own like orb of destruction that I reflect as it's coming back to get me? Or is that someone else's orb of destruction? <laughs> I was letting it like orbit around me, but I don't know. It's gonna hit someone eventually, right? Yeah, there it goes. Uh, I should also boomerang this dude. I think this is the main threat. So I should definitely be haste up in this fight, because this bomb spams healing. And... Yeah, I should probably have a resistance on as well, I think. They do so much cold damage. Angels aren't very helpful, unfortunately, because they do a like, glaciated pool of vortex, which kills them very quickly. Uh... Where do I put all my buffs? Oh, a little while back. Okay, that's fine, though. So, let's put on resistance. It's because I don't have the death form on. Oh, got 16 haste. Definitely having that one on. Which is, like, things like this. Um, I guess we're... Eh? 
Wait, did it even bring up the target for that one? Maybe not. Uh, oh, wait, I absolutely quivered the net. Um, actually, I think they blink around enough. I might just hit them with it. The javelins are not very good at heading, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> right, that's a bit of damage. Uh... Still okay with the health, but I might need to drink a healing potion. We can both spam the healing or something. Oh, thank goodness. Definitely. Oh, definitely got them in the end. Uh... I have six runes. I won't... Uh, what will it be up to? I've been up to eight runes when I've finished... Um... Pandemonium because I haven't done the slime pits yet and I'll leave that till later on because actually I'm not doing terribly with the mutations but it's mainly because I didn't want to like use the mutation potions and stuff I get close to that brain Oh, I need to just leave this level, I think. We've got... Oh, nothing special level again. Oh, uh, well. No, back level orders actually kind of make sense to the Abyss. I wonder what those have a higher chance of spawning, because I've seen a number of them, or whether it's just random altar spawn that's giving me the altars. I need to move up very carefully here. Oh my god, they got like raid subs around there. Oh, more blink bolt guys. Of course. Meanwhile, I'm bobbed. Um, there wasn't a rune here, so I should go to the next level because that's just a random pandemonium lord. Oh, a dark pandemonium lord. Uh, Glorix vlog hanging out with his rune. He's fine. I just got to angel spam him. That's the usual way of taking him out for a shining one character. This uh, oh marked. I'm gonna just hang out here. See what comes along. This isn't the entrance to the... No, this isn't the, um, rude area. Man, I have no idea where that is. <laughs> There's no obvious areas for it right now. I mean, it kind of has to be up in the upper left corner now, because there's nowhere else on the map. Oh, lots of flay. 150 flay is pretty much meaning, yeah, here it is. But it had to be here, because there's nowhere else for it to be. Uh, it's all going fine. Let's try and wait off some of these conditions before I go back in here. Um, do I recognize this one yet? I just like figure out where the boss is because I don't want to. Well, I want to summon out the angels before I go to the boss, which means I kind of need to know where they are. It might be the one where you just go straight forward to meet them. I think it is. So I might summon my angels right now. As many as I can have, unfortunately. I don't have a lot of magic points. Yep, looks like it is. Uh, I gotta magnify myself. I'm just not sure what else I can actually do. And tell my angels to go for the guy. Um, I might be able to do some backup with some javelins. Okay. Ah. Okay. 
What's that angel even doing? It's just sitting around there. Why? Okay, he's pretty wounded, but not much I can do right now. I think he's dead. Yeah, I feel like I was mainly just there for emotional support for my angels. I mean, I did a bit of, like, cleansing flame and stuff when things went for me instead of my angels, but I didn't do a lot in that fight. <laughs> Uh, come on, give me to the way out. Um, how many more runes? There's one more, right? Fiery rune, which is going to... Oh, here it is. It's going to be one of the harder ones because I don't have a lot of fire resistance. They could probably lose the willpower strength. Or can I lose the AC poison resist, resist electric? Huh. I don't know. I might lose the strength, but... Hopefully I'm not... Actually, going into Mali is not bad anymore now that the Divine Shield is based on blocking individual attacks instead of blocking, um... Like, adding to your shield value. Because then it's big. Cats don't do anything. Okay. Get myself surrounded and then cleanse these guys. Ooh. Actually, I need a bit of fog. There's one dude in here tormenting me. One of these sides is the boss side. Uh, this doesn't look like the boss would be down here. Now it's probably just a tiny little treasure vault. And it doesn't really have much. Unless you're into stops of... Summoning fire air hexes. I mean, that's enough spell skills that someone would maybe be interested in the stuff. All right. That skull crusher, no, it's not. It's a giant spike club of freezing. Very rarely you see, like, an artifact giant spike club. I think uh, skull crusher is just a giant club. It doesn't have spikes in it. I'm going to pull out some of the, like, the, the things that aren't Asmodeus here before, not Asmodeus, Seraboth, before I go in and fight him. Um, we definitely got to have a resistance potion and a haste Potion. Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, nothing. Thankfully, it was a healing potion. And my health was already full. Okay. Silver javelins or oh, I'll start with the boomerangs. Uh, I'll smack him in melee. Do I have a mirror, do I? No, I didn't get that one somehow. Right, taking down my shield. I think I might refresh it, even though it probably lasts a bit longer. Just don't want that to completely wear off. Um, I think he takes it down at most two, actually. There we go. Yeah, that Divine Shield is really great against any sort of his melee attacks. He didn't do his worst thing, which is the summoning either. So that makes the fight so much easier. Do I care about gloves and decks? I got the gloves of willpower, right? Um, Probably don't. Oh, man, you have access. Do I even have access? Oh, I do have access left to trade. It's only on 22, so that's actually useful. Good. Excellent, so now I just need to get out of Pandemonium, which I do have a way to the Abyss, which I might as well just go take that one. Because I've still got the Abyss rune to go get. Alright. I 
I don't want to get too deep in the abyss because I'm probably going to have to wander the abyss for a while to sort out my title at the end of this, I reckon. At least I reckon there's a good chance of that. Uh, you're just Legato, Aldous. I'm not gonna persuade me to get Legato. If I go Legato, do I make, uh, Leveland mad at me? I might. I definitely made the Shining One mad at me. Um. Yeah, Leveland's in, like, uh, published colors. So if I did go to, like, an evil god, I would make a Leveland mad, which is kind of funny. <laughs> Because uh, good gods don't, like, they don't forget that you worshipped them, but they don't punish you unless you go to an evil god after having worshipped them. Um... And they will, like, even remember. So if you abandon a good god and then at some future time pick up a another good god, I think you always start with, like, half of your previous piety, even... I'm not sure about if you have another god in between. Maybe even with that. I know you can wander around for a while with no god and then pick up a another good god that carries over some of your party. Uh, I don't need that way out. I need a way down. Hey, plunge deeper into the abyss. That's what I need. All right, let's go down again. I don't think I saw a rune immediately. Shining one characters generally have a pretty good time with the abyss because uh So many things in here I get health back from killing. Fortunately at the moment I'm not regenning though. Um Which doesn't seem to be mattering too much, but I'm hopefully I can get rid of that before I see the rune or something. Uh, Vulnerable to heat might actually be a problem. Let's take a look at that. Oh, wait. Oh, I've still got my ring of fire just on, which generally I shouldn't have. On, uh... Yeah, so once I kill these guys, I might just swap that back to the strength. Well. Sure, I guess I'll take this way out. Although it's basically full health anyway, so I probably didn't need to. Oh, well, it's a new region of the abyss. Now the chance of the rune. Speaking of which, the rune right there also, this looks holy. I mean, they can't cleansing flame these guys. Is that just spectral weapon them? I mean, what else can I do, right? No oh, fellow shining one worshippers. Um, that's probably through the store that I've got to go. What's this chaos gonna do to me? Can't even have really a chance to get out of it either. Oh, game we leading out. That's perfect because I got the rune. Let's get out of here. I think my mutations are still fine. Uh, let's go. Oh, actually, I'm still on the spectral. Let's go to the slime pits now. Clear that out and then reset my mutations. Nax isn't too bad for the slime pits. Uh, what does it do to me? Oh. Hod 3. Which means I lost 3 armor class, I think. But that's not purely negative. I do at least do a little bit more melee damage. I don't think the helmet had like any resist or anything special like that. Um, the other thing it did was let you go invisible, which with the shiny one, not exactly going to do anything. Uh, I can see the jam, but I can't get to it. Also, that manual's apparently useless. It's shields. Ah, oh, yeah. Checks out. I have, in fact, maxed my shields value a while back. 
Cleansing flame is actually pretty good in here, uh, because when the royal jelly spits out a bunch of stuff, there's lots of targets for it. I might get the gem. We'll see. Oh, what did it do? Fragile, sure. I need to wait this off at some stage. Same with the like, corrosion, but... Cause a stream of guys. I don't know. Waste oh, wasting weight's fine. What else did it do to me? Minus fire resist? Sure. I better not emulate things then, but that's not the plan. The problem is trying to get like all the gems, and some of them are really hard, like this one, because it's a bit of luck based on when you find the royal jelly, right? Like I've been around top the level and have not seen them. Whereas with good luck, I can get this gem even without trying for it. Oh my goodness! Seriously, where is this royal jelly? <laughs> okay, there it is. There we go. And I probably can't uh, still actually get the gem because like uh, 250 turns. Uh, what are the gloves here? They're plus two. They let you see invisible. That's not that helpful. The so ring of. Oh, that's lots of things. Resist electric, resist poison, strength, minus cover resist, but endless fire resist. I'll definitely keep that one around. Um, maybe I should put it on. The strength makes up for losing the AC, I think. Yeah. I mean, my cold resist down a bit. So, uh, depending which hell I go into, that one wouldn't always make the most sense. Uh, fire resist minus cold resist. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Minus two strength. No. Two boots of rampaging. Um, sure. I want some rampaging. I think. Got a hundred tons to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> don't know if I'm gonna make this. I. I just want to say to go. Oh, that's not gonna help. Hundred tons remaining. Hey, I made it out on time. I think it didn't shatter. Oops. Yeah, it's got a 90 tons left. <laughs> okay, keep the hat round. Might actually get the willpower on. Um, actually, no, I might keep the gloves and decks around in case the decks gets drained really low. Pirates, this rig is not so good anymore. That rig never made any sense. Alright, that's good. Let's put on the Holy Wrath, uh, reset these mutations, because there's like... A minus fire doesn't matter, but Frail does. Uh... Okay, low magic capacity, clumsy, passive map. I might reset these again. Uh, low magic capacity, got some edge, still got the minus stacks. I might reset these again. The minus fire just doesn't matter. I've got the minus deck, so I'm trying to get rid of that one, but maybe it just doesn't matter that much. Feel more agile, feel more intelligent. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, they cleaned them up. Cold resist and strength. Those look good. My decks are doing fine. Yeah, the resist are looking great right now. No resist corrosion, but everything else is looking pretty good. Um, all right, let's go to hell. Could dig? How much digging have I got left? 14. I don't think I worry about digging, honestly. I gotta do this. Actually, the noisy way is not that noisy. Um, <laughs> because I got the, got the cloak of silence still on. <laughs> 
Yeah, I feel like I've got a lot out of that Cloak of Silence, honestly. Uh, I like probably not as much as my last mage character got out of it, but still. I don't think the Holy Weapon's actually the right one to be fighting those Iron Golems with, but I don't think Spectral had a good spot to fight there either. Right, if I want Flight, I do have Boots for Flight. Um, I do also have, like, Amulet Swapping. I don't know about that, though. I'm probably just going to one of the hells that doesn't require Flight first and then think about it later on. Yeah, in fact, I might start with... Is that Tartarus? I might start with Tartarus. It's not perfect. Because I can be hit by the foul pestilence. I do have a few scrolls of poison, though, which can help that. How many? 12, actually. It's more than just a few, I think, at this point. Oh, I should. It's not useful anywhere else. Yeah, now this guy can't get me. This little Lauren, neither can the other. Neither can the mouth guy get me. Uh, oh, someone's telling me to be gone, Terrasbasa. Oh, this guy's just going to straight up torment me. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, if I drew the poison, I can't do the fog, but I still think it's worthwhile. All right, mastered armor, mastered shields, mastered vacations, mastered fighting. I might as well master the axes as well. Uh, could also, actually, I should definitely get the throwing up. Hold on, that's way too low. I should bring the throwing up to at least 20. Because I do still use that one with my silver javelins. Out to tell me. Uh... Not much I can do to really stop howls. I mean, I've got a few cancellations left if I'm in a bad spot when I get howled, but that's going to be about it for getting rid of howls for me. Am I just outside the silence? Excellent. Why don't you just fog up um, and then go back to the staircase here? Fog's almost doing the trick. Um, it also does stop the foul pestilence from these guys as well, so kind of dual purpose fog. Whoops. I was meant to roll to the silent race. Um, it's fine. All right, next level. Ooh, so this metal's a bit more serious, like, although I probably should just melee attack it. The Holy Wrath's doing its best. All right, next level, level six. I'll hide around this corner. Actually, I could just go downstairs. I might as well. Uh, poison? All right, finished by magic bags. But it's already on 26. So it's doing pretty well. It's going to be up to 61 damage on a, what, 0.7 attack delay or something? Just re-poison.
<laughs> Repoison again. Is this, a, this isn't the boss chamber, this is just a random loot chamber, isn't it? Just was kind of seem a, a little bit pointless to it, because their treasure is never that great, and the creatures on them are always pretty tough. Hey, there we go, this is the boss chamber, it's one of the maze ones. Where's the throw of this guy? So I'll try, try to take it out with anything else. Like running up to it. Huh. Oh, already in the cloud. I can think I just find this way and just get poisoned up. I think it'll be fine. But if it's just one of them, it's not like a. I should just rampage this guy, I don't know. In my cleansing flame mode, might even do a little bit more damage. It's hard to tell because the uh, tank delay is so compared. There we go, that's the boss chamber. Oh, it's awkward. I'll try bring out the angels, but this is... It's probably as best I can get them in terms of surrounding. Uh... A lot for me to do. I think I teleport out and then I come back. Also, did I forget to go and do tomb? Because I was going to do that tomb like really soon after I did Pandemonium and I completely forgot about that. That's going to be my next location, I think, is tomb after this one. So I could drink a haste, but I'm not sure that helps me the most. Uh, this just really, really awkward in here trying to get the angels around there. Shkigo. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, now the angels can get around her. Um, I think they've got the idea of what to do. Yeah, they're all surrounding her. Alright, so uh, Tomb was in fact next, and I've explored Crypt, so it should be easy enough to get into. Oh wait, I forgot to put my hat back on, didn't I? When my horn shrank down. It was only one hell though that I did without my cat on, it was only 3 AC, so it's not too bad. And I believe I've got enough teleports left because I didn't use many in Pandemonium, which is uh, usually the main area that eats them if there's anything that eats them. I've got the lignifications I got need. I've got the haste I need. Um, is there anything else I really need in here? I don't think so. I mean, obviously the trashes, but you always have so many of those. It'd be very unusual to be out of those. Don't I have a better faith amulet somewhere? I don't think I need that one. Oh, it even gave me a haste. <laughs> uh, I gotta actually just fog up and uh, that, come on, fog. Fog up and sit here cleansing flaming. I think that's the right thing to do. <laughs> I don't have to worry about those guys spelling undead because I am not undead. I'm not a ghoul or a lich or... What else is undead? Vampires, I guess. That they don't get most of the benefits from it. Unless they're bloodless, then I guess they do. Um... And of course, mummies are undead. Alright. I'll put on... I want Divine Shield. What else do I want to put on? Put on a... I'll put on a haste. I've got so many of them. 
Oh, Trajan. I don't like that net trap. Can I just... About as far as I can get for that net trap before I have to go and lignify myself, I think. The problem is your main defense, uh... And tree form is your shield. But... Doesn't seem to be too bad. Uh, let's clear out this entire place and then I'll do my attempts at teleport. I've got like, I think I even got more teleport scrolls than before I went into extended, basically, so I, I'm not going to run out unless I get extremely unlike, unlucky here. Usually takes, I don't know, like five attempts or something. I don't know, it takes a few attempts, but... Huh? Ah, it's just another lob trap. I mean, it makes sense that the older explosives can go through that, but <laughs> I don't need to worry about it. That one leads to the mummies of the walls, so that's why I'm not taking it. I'm just teleporting to the other side. That's a lot of Zot traps. Um... And I believe this is... Okay, this explodes. So I just need to buff up, go down. Uh, definitely the same old buff. Shield, haste... Uh, I just have a teleport so I get myself a little bit more central and I'll lignify once the teleport goes off yeah that's a good spot not attraction I've got that lignification oh goodbye magic points okay that's not the best start to things Or burning the midnight oil to finish the run. Uh, something like that. I mean, it's not quite midnight for me, but yeah, definitely. Going fast here. Um, Do I just burn these guys? Let's, let's do it. This character's had a reasonably easy time with extended so far. Oh, do I just get more throwing? Or... I think actually the most important thing to get is some translocations. Um... A little bit of air and try to get vise. I really love when you get the, the really central locations here. Like, look at how easy that made it to clear out most of these mummies. I think I lost my tragedy. Let's just put another one. What the hell do I go on the boss level? Have you had any runs recently? Because I know you got to run as an octopode at some stage, an octopode hunter, which is one of the combos that I have absolutely not been able to win. So I'm quite impressed by that one. What was the ammo again? It was fire resist, which I don't need because I got the ring, regen, strength, and sure. I mean, I don't think I'll try it while I'm on my street because of how bad my attempts have been previously. Oh, was that, oh, was a Delva, right. You already went so far as, uh, sadly. So you just, like, win one of the hardest combos and then just... <laughs> and it'll stop. I find that kind of funny. Oh, wait, the gem's still around. I actually need to explore the rest of this place. I can just grab the treasure and leave, can't I? Are you actually now over analyzing a current run? You have the same demon spawn with really good mutations? Oh, you want to finish it as extended, though? You could uh, just win right now. So you're just trying to decide whether you get an extended win. I mean, demon spawn? Uh, 
They're never really again for a setting, setting, but you can't go with a shining one, which is my favorite god. No demons for the fun. Uh oh. Hey, I'm gonna get out with my jab. I think that's my second whole jab. This character's not even trying for them. They just uh sped through a couple of places. Oh yeah, uh, your mutations are perfect for ziggurats. So you've got like the what's it what's the one that does ziggurats really well? Let's see. It's one that gives regen. Like the killing thing is gives regen. Plus the one that um regen does some magic regen when you get low on health. I seem to I can't remember what they're called. I don't wanna be. I think fiery hell? That's the resist I've got on right now. I was healing per kill with the... With like the blood armor? Huh. So you can go full on, basically be like a back lip character with a healing per kill. Oh, we've actually inspired you to play. Let you uh, go to boot it up, see how it goes. Hopefully, I don't get you killed. Oh, what's the best thing to do here? I'm going to stay up here and rampage this guy. Oh, you're playing way too carefully. You're also scared you haven't played in two months? I'm trying to think, like, if I haven't played a long time, whether I get worse of the game, but... It's kind of been a long time since I've not played in that long. Usually for me, it's only like a week or something I don't play for. Um, I've always had this issue with Zelda games. Yeah, I have that issue with like every every other game. It doesn't seem to happen with Dungeon Crawl though. Because when I returned to it after a long break, I was never very good at it. Oh, that's nice. Being shafted. So it didn't really get noticed to be worse. There are two Zelda games you haven't beat yet because you got so frustrated that you didn't find all the hard pieces. You didn't want to look up a guide. I seem to remember, like, I haven't played many Zelda games, but I did play one. I don't remember which one it was. I don't know. But I... I couldn't be bothered, like, looking for all the hard pieces because, like, collecting things just doesn't... That sort of thing. Like, uh, going around the world searching for things isn't quite my sort of thing. So I ended up, like, beating the final boss. Like, it took so many tries because I had so few hearts. Like, it's just, like, very little health. It was kind of impossible, but I eventually got there. But it, it was definitely doing the boss on the hard mode because I couldn't be bothered looking for hearts. And that was basically my experience with Zelda. Are you a completionist? I am in some games, but definitely not, uh, not when it comes to looking for hearts in Zelda games. That's why you want to get an extended win now. Because you got the basic win, right. Yeah, I mean, in some ways I'm kind of a completionist and cruel, but not other games. Because I go for, like, the titles, and I go for the... The games one, right? Like, the the progress one. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I just... I find searching for items so tedious... Like, a lot of other things, I'll be completely completionist about it, but... Oh, right. Um, I'm gonna get up to this dude. But when it comes to searching for items, I just can't be bothered. Oh, that's why you like the tournament aspect of this. There's a certain time where everybody can prepare for, do all the speedrunning, trophy collecting... Or the Xbox 360 team and hunting type thing. Yeah, I actually like the, I really like the tournaments, like the whole the whole category is collecting the banners is so much fun. That's probably gonna be the most fun the category for me, because it's that same sort of thing of like collecting things, except without having to wander aimlessly around the world to collect them. What am I on? Level seven already? Huh. I don't know, probably, I'd probably be better at doing that sort of thing if I had a better sense of direction, because my sense of direction in games is terrible. That's probably why I don't like 
searching for it. Um, Hearts and Zelda games. That was a nice take on a roguelike. Yeah, I really... I don't know. Some roguelikes... Maybe it's just because I've been, like, playing it, like, long enough. I feel like roguelikes kind of a game to get, like, better when you get a bit more skill. Because when you first start playing, you kind of can't experience too much of the game before you just die. But I actually like how they're kind of hard, because it means that... Like, a lot of games kind of... You can only play for so long before... You kind of don't get challenged anymore, whereas... I don't know, roguelikes, say, even when you get, like, super good at them, it's still a challenge to get a, get a win. Like, it's not a, not, nowhere near a 100% win rate. Yeah, it's like, or this game is basically isometric roguelike, I'm viewed as one of the nerdiest things, having a tournament like this makes a community. Yeah, I wonder how many, I mean, a lot of the... A lot of even smaller games do have seen have tournaments. Kind of gonna wonder like uh, what tournaments are like with the uh, larger games. Oh, that's gonna need some cleansing flame. Cause I don't know, with so many players playing, it must be like really hard to get any sort of decent placement in any sort of common game tournament. Whereas I feel like the more niche games, you can kind of. Actually, get somewhere on the leaderboards. Oh, hey, I need a. Wait, I need to kill this dude. And then I need a haste. Maybe I should have done that on the other world. It doesn't really matter. Um, I need a divine shield, and then I just fight him, I think. Yeah, this is working great, because he's doing basically nothing. Excellent. Yeah, it's definitely as tormented guys are the toughest there. Alright, I've got to go the long way to get out of here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, did you know Particle Face is worried that you might break his record for title hunting? He's actually uh, stepped up his hunting, title hunting. He does need to though. I think I'm only like 30 titles behind, right? Because I've been gaining them at a slightly faster rate. Let's see. Uh, uh, what is that? 27 titles behind him? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of worried that uh, Energetic Auto will ca catch up to me, but I guess he's like 90 titles behind me, so that's not as scary. Um, I don't know, we'll see if I can take second place, but I'm not there yet. But if he stepped off his game, it could make it pretty hard. I was like, uh, it kind of reminds you of sports people. Yeah, it's nice having like actual competitions for things. Um, what am I going to the Icy Hell yet? I'll, I'll do it last. I'll do... Got a desk. And I'll swap around my items and do the icy one, I think. Um. I view this more like sports, like the golf individual players trying to get a better score. I mean, it's sort of. Hmm. I mean, so I've got, sort of got the sole, uh, same sort of competition side of things, but uh, actual gameplay is quite different. <laughs> I mean, I guess all the spots are sort of different from each other as well. Ooh, I might put on Divine Shield. This should be fine. I wonder whether it makes sense to put on a Spectral Weapon or keep on going with what I've got. Alright, this is fine. I'll refresh the Divine Shield, though. It's not that low yet, anyway. Um... Man, I'm glad those, uh... Yeah, that's a good thing about the Silence Cloak. Those Tormentors would have noticed me otherwise, and I would have had to pull them in with, like, a Potion of Attraction or something. I, re I remember that ambush. I thought it seemed a little weak. Oh, instead of, like, boxing, where you get two people beating each other up? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely... It varies a lot of the gameplay from pretty much every sport. But, um, but it, I guess it's the same sort of general idea. 
<laughs> I don't know, but it attracts like a completely different kind of audience though, right? Maybe. Archie brought it up that you were title hunting as well, and he was like, wait, really? Looking up your stats on stream? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Oh, I would have thought he would have noticed that I was title hunting, but I guess not. Because he only, like, kind of goes for title hunting. He's, like, he's more focused on the progress, but I think recently he's been getting quite a lot of titles. Um... Got him on the ropes, yeah, we'll, we'll see how long I can, uh, well, how long it takes, though, but I think if he's getting them at a, at a reasonable rate, it could take me a long time to beat him. I might go to the, my spectral here, it's the perfect weapon to be going with. Oh, this, okay. This is fine. He's betrachid. Is that the right thing to do? And then I cleanse these guys. Oh, maybe not. No, that might not be the right thing to do. Um, I gotta get sucked in though by my betrachid, which is a bit of a shame. But I might try blinking back to here. Uh, and then do a bit of fog and then heal up a bit. I kind of needed my divine shield on. That's what the problem was there. I should have put it on before I went downstairs. Uh, this is fine now because I can hide in this corner and heal up. Uh, in fact, I might just go down. There we go. Out of trouble again. Two of these guys. Can I just drink some of these haste? Because I got so much haste, they should be using them. I should just be saving them up or anything. That's a pointless thing to do. Uh... Okay, minus 16 corrosion. I should be fine because they got the divine shield and stuff. Also, I should make sure I use the proper axe here. There we go. I also could have been magic mapping levels when I went down, but it's not that important. Oh, I. Ah, again, I forgot to put on my divine shield when I went down, but I'll magic map out this level, I guess. Uh, it's still usually pretty obvious where the boss is, it's just the other side of the level. Oh, pull these things back into here. Somewhere nice and convenient to fight them. Okay. I'll put on my divine shield again and I'll go down to here. It's mainly this dude that I worried about with this damnation, but I think the rest of them are fine. They just got like eye shots and stuff. Um, I probably should pop open the doors, just make sure there's no creatures waiting to ambush me as I go up this way. This is fine. Um, uh, most of these things can't get me very well anyway, because, uh, I've got the Divide Shield on. But I don't think really anything out of those ones could really get through my Divide Shield. Alright, where next? I don't have a Phantom Mirror still, so I can't use that on the boss. That's something I like to use on this boss, but hey, if I don't have one...
How did that giant get up to me? Did I get yeeted by another giant? Or... Do they have a way of getting up to you now? Because that giant threw that guy, which makes sense. But I'm just not... Oh, I haven't before. <laughs> Alright. I'm thinking just fight these guys without putting on my divine shield because I'm kind of running out of piety because I keep on cleansing, flaming, and stuff. That's just fine. That's usually the case going through here. What do I have in terms of evokals? I got the um, grab a tambourine, which is great. I don't know. I don't really have a lot that. Um, oh, I want to use a okay, cow. Put on. I want a haste, definitely. Might also put on a bit of might, because I got tons of those as well. So now it's basically just damnation I need to worry about. I think this is going fine. I don't need this plutonium sword. It's a good thing he wasn't wielding now to give me malmutations or something. Alright, one more hell to go, which I believe is the icy one, which should be reasonably tough, but... Hey, I've still got some scrolls of blinking, right? I've still got like 10 of those. Still got some scrolls of fog. I've got a lot of the important stuff. Let's go, let's go through unexplored era. Oh, well, I'll just let it go where it wants to go, I guess. Uh, I see hell's over here. It's pretty obvious where it is. Okay, let's drop. Let's uh, drop the face. Yeah, that's not needed, I don't think. Um, cold resist, how? <laughs> is there a question? Okay, I can... It's about that ring back, the one that's giving minus cold resist. There we go, cold resist sorted. Oh, flight, right. Um, hold up. Um, I just put on the AC ring there. Uh, strength and dex as well. And I might put on this one for a bit of flight. I know it gives me an accuracy. Oh, my cover this is down? Because, oh, of course it was on my amulet. Now I might go back to this one. And I'll lose my rampage to go with the fly boots instead, I guess. Yeah, that'll do. Uh. Oh, no. Does this the electric? What am I wearing? I'm wearing the wrong rig, aren't I? That's that one, I think, that I'm meant to be wearing. Let's... Sh oh, wait. Ah, I took off the willpower one then. <laughs> I keep on swapping things around all in greatly here. I think that's great. I got the cold I got the willpower. Excellent, I think I'm ready to go. I've got the flight. Um, I don't have my rampage anymore, which is a little bit of a shame. How's the vise, anyway? Oh, wait, did I not grab it? I know there's vise somewhere. Hold up. <laughs> I'll send the Book of Lightning, but I'll get the good grab the Book of Movement. Uh, there was some other book that I had on my shopping list as well. Book of the Warp. Um, I was grayed out now. I guess that means I don't need it. Actually, I do need the fog. Why was that never on my shopping list? Anyway, so... Now I should be able to go grab the Vise. Uh, I got the Pile Driver as well. Hazardous Galabri is apparently castable. Visor 6% is getting there. Oh, sure, why not swiftness as well? <laughs> sure, lots of banking. Get all the things. Let's go to hell. I probably won't use the majority of those spells. What is my Vise on anyway? Got the blink as well. Vise on F. All right. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of buys, that's a perfect spot for it. Ooh. Why did it do like 170 damage to me? Oh, it did it twice. Let's see. At least these guys are free health. Uh, that guy up here is not, though. Oh, wait. No rampage. I should have just cleansing flamed it. All right. Hey, back to me on some Divine Warriors. Uh, don't think the Torment can actually move up to me that way because it doesn't fly. I'm gonna wait off that half willpower before I go down. I might also put on my divine shield before I go down. In case there's a shrike ambush. Um those can be kinda lethal without the shield. The shield's great though, because it reflects their own damage back at them. Speaking of shrike ambushes, added uh blinds up a bunch of them as well, so kinda does everything you need it to do, basically. Translocation's looking good. Um, I get it a bit higher. I don't know. I could either get that or throwing. I don't use a huge amount of throwing. I don't have the like, holy wrath javelins or something. <laughs> Whatever I want to throw. Uh, I get rid of the tormentor. There we go, that's the staircase. Level 6, here I come. That's fine. Oh, the heli got blown up by the Wendigo. That's funny. I think it marked, which is fine. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I might do the safe thing here, Blake, because there's a lot of guys approaching. I just take myself into the wall and chill out the in the wall for a little while. <laughs> just find them one at a time. Yep, that's doing the trick. And I believe there's only one last level to go here. The, oh, so this one. I've actually got the Silent Cloak on. I'll be fine. That's the one where you tend to get, like, ambushed a lot when you stick around the center. But that's only when you make noise. Um, Just close the door. I don't even know if that guy can open it. No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, I'd be surprised if an elemental wellspring could open a door, but I've been surprised by other guys opening doors before. <laughs> that didn't strip my willpower. Of course not, because it's not next to me. And the boss should be fine, uh, so long as his, uh... Ice fiends don't cause me problems. Like, I basically just put on my divine shield and he can't do much to me. It's funny how the divine shield basically turns a lot of the <laughs> uniques a lot weaker, but it uh, doesn't help so much with the packs of creatures. Oh, where am I going? Down here is fine. Uh... 
Oh, ouch. That was a, that was a turn and a half, okay. Let me just, uh, blink back. Oh, wait, I'm engulfed. I see. That means I'm gonna have to step back, which is scary. I'm still engulfed. Oh, thank goodness I'm no longer engulfed. Oh. Oh. Might read uh, another blank. Yeah, that just shows how like fast things can go uh, wrong because that was like one turn. I do just decided to, well, a couple of dudes decided to come in to view and torment me at the same time. Should really get a little bit of health back off these guys. I should have my divine shield on though so that they can't hit me. Okay, healed up again. Oh, there's another one of these guys tormenting me. Of course there is. But that was actually a really scary situation with the fact that I got engulfed in the same turn. Oh, hey, there's the boss. So it was the it was his like escorting guys that um decided to come along and fight me. Oh, okay, last rune. That could have been the end of the streak, though, if I had have uh, died while trying to get out of that constriction. Uh, I could not constriction, engulfing. Uh, I mean, there weren't too many things around that could actually still damage me, but it was enough to be scary. Alright, let's get out of Cosiders. I got all my runes, so I just gotta go to... Zot 5, clear out the remains of here, which I remember there were annoying traps, but should be fine. I still got endless haste and stuff. And I got a cancellation, so when I get alarmed up in here inevitably, I can just cancel it up. Uh, I might lignify. I've got cancellation if I don't want it anymore. Okay, cancellation. Oh, that salt trap's so annoying. Um, I might step back one. Also, I forgot to swap my resist rings around again. Um, I might swap it right now. <laughs> so I've got the fire resist, okay. And I might haste up as well. Although I probably would have been fine without the haste. That petrified. Oh, it's the, the Zolt Trap again. Funneling all those dudes over the Zolt Trap. This, this is probably a better spot to be in where I don't funnel dudes over the Zolt Trap. Oh, also, oh, wait, I'm, I'm the wrong god, hold on. I should be going and getting... Oh, I guess I clear out this place, but I should be going and getting, um, a Levelin. Yeah, because this place isn't going to be worth a lot of piety at all for Levelin. Levelin's, uh, explore-based. But I'm probably just going to have to run through the abyss for a little while, try and get up some believable and piety until I'm a uh, purifying minotaur or whatever it is. Alright, that'll do. Um... Goodbye, Shiny One. Unfortunately, I don't have quite as much party as I like, because I wasn't following the Shiny One party there. Yeah, two pumps, so I'm currently a caregiver, which isn't going to do the trick. Uh... Now, what does it do? Weirdly uncertain? It doesn't do anything in here. Um... Deformed my body? Come on. I have a pretty good mutation, like cold resistance stuff, but. 
That's fine. I got enough blink scrolls to self to the old run, it's not going to be a problem. I don't think this place is going to give me too many problems either. Uh... I'm hoping a level and does game party in here. I think they do. It's hard to tell, but I think there was a stage where gods didn't give party in the abyss, but I think that sounded just um like Ganu now. Whatever, I'll go to the next region. I don't know if that really helps. <laughs> yeah, look at that. I'm now a Manda, so one more pit for party. And I should be good to do the orb run. What does this dude do to me? Eh, doesn't really matter. I think it gave me a little bit of frail and stuff. As uh, Those guys tend to do a lot of frail. I guess it's, they can do any mutations. Wait, I'm very glad to play those guys. That's the only thing to try and do. I think it told me that there was no one I could affect with the uh, pacify ability when I tried doing it. That's why I was you've been with the shiny one throughout the whole of Extended and now you're in an Extended branch. Just kind of presume. I think I'm pretty sure. Is it the next pip or is it the pip afterwards? Oh, I don't know. I'll find out. Anyway, going out and go back in is probably not a terrible idea. I don't know. <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> it's for fun. And it explores a lot of tiles like every time you go in, so maybe. And that's kind of the only thing I need to really do is explore tiles. Uh... Oh, this is the next one. I'm pacifying right now. Uh -huh. I don't know. It's going up reasonably fast. Oh. Was that a way down? It must have been, because it doesn't tell me about it. Although this floor is confusing me. It's like shifting even faster than like the normal abyss shift. That's actually kind of a, like a sensible sort of walls to put in here, but it really is confusing to look at. Oh, I did get sick and I don't have that um, health on kills anymore. I do have uh, health on demand, but of course it costs piety, so I'd rather not. I will if I have to, though. Alright, there we go. Back to actually regening. I think I got the regen amulet on. I did keep it on good, because it's one to get cold resist. It made sense in the last tail I was in. Is there a reason for me to leave? Uh, Purifying Minotaur, that's a reason for me to leave. Alright, let's go to... Zot 5, grab my orb... And get out of here. Hopefully not losing the title on the way out or something. Because <laughs> I'm always worried about like Piety Decay messing up my titles on the way out and stuff. Um, it probably won't happen, but it could. I still got my Holy Wrath on, right? Guy does Lightning Bolt. I think it's fine. Also jumps around like a little menace. Um... Was I going to reset these mutations, or was I fine with what I had? Let's take a look. Type on an ace of monsters, arm fits poorly, but I got lots of cold resist. I might just go with those. They're not... <laughs> they don't leave me that well armored, but I think it's fine. Blink close, I see. Well, it's living up to its name of blinking close. Uh, whatever, throwing doesn't matter at this point. 
Shadow Demons are so funny on the old run, like just trying to bring in all the. Is that shield actually better than mine? <laughs> sure. I'll swap shields on the old run, why not? Also, I've got the wrong boots on right now, probably. Um. What on earth am I carrying that doesn't even matter anymore? Uh. I can't be bothered looking through these properly. I dropped those gloves. It's not like I'm ever going to swap to them. I also should have swapped on an up staircase instead of randomly in the middle of the floor, so if something came along, it could have gone up, but oh well. Ah, uh, dodge level 3, come on! Dodge level 1! Hey, I'm at the exit, I'm already there. Purifying Minotaur, which I'm gonna double check that I haven't had, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh. I think the bots in chat still. Should be. I've had Purifying Genie, Merfolk, and Ogre. Alright, uh, it looks like it's time to get a win then. That wasn't too bad. It should add to my streak. Bring it up to an 8th streak, which I think is my second longest streak overall. And my longest ever extended streak. Tokyo was pretty good. 105,000 turns. And I even got two gems, both in tag. There was the Tomb and the Slime Pits, I think.